Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Show. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and this week's episode of Brilliant Idiots is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile, and it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the show it's been too long it has been too long it's been too long but yo we need vacations too man we Mm. need fucking vacations we need to reset we need to feel good we need to connect with ourselves connect with our family that's right show said fuck that man that loon episode was too much man i had to get the fuck out of here yo y'all was talking shit about my boy you know what i mean i had i had to boycott i had to boycott multiple episodes until there was an official apology i had to get the fuck out of here yeah i had to get the fuck out of here Uh, salute to uh loon and act though but how was your vacation, man? Uh, it was great until I got explosive diarrhea the last six days. I, you know what? I, wa- I saw your Instagram story, and I was watching it. I'm going to tell you something. Andrew goes, hey, man, you know, I've been having a great trip, man, but I just want y'all to know that. I just ex- And I just turned. And I was like, I already know where this is going. So I heard you say, <laughs> so I heard you say X. I was like, you about to say explosive diarrhea. I don't need to know the details. <laughs> Straight up. Son, it, it was the worst diarrhea I've ever had in my entire life. That's saying a lot. I was moaning, bro. What? <laughs> what did you eat? I don't know. I don't know. Some French shit. So basically, we were in Turkey. We were in this place called Bodrum, which is like the Turkish Riviera or whatever you say. But it was beautiful, beautiful place. Then we went to Istanbul. Then we went to Saint-Tropez. And I must have eaten something in Saint-Tropez because when my wife and I went to Amalfi... It started bubbling in San Tropez, and then in Amalfi, it was fucking... You're the only person I've ever seen complain about public restrooms in such a serious manner. They're public restrooms. But see, what y'all don't know about Andrew Schultz, Andrew Schultz was shit anywhere. Exactly, but they clearly don't do that in Europe. What, shit anywhere? No, they don't. Europe is interesting, man. Son... I love Europe. The ambiance. They're, uh, I'm a food guy, though. But well, you then you love the food. They have the best food in not, the world. I didn't like it. In, I Here's don't the love thing. the food in France. Europe is they. They have small brains. They're 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 they have little brains. <laughs> people. No, they do. They do. They, they're brilliant, and they've created so much culture, and they've created so much greatness, and there's yeah. so much ancient history, and it's the most marvelous place to go visit all yeah. throughout Europe. Is just there's but they have small brains. They're small brain people. <laughs> I want to go to Saint Tropez. The, the food child of a European, right? No, I know my. Mom's brain was too big to live there, no. so they had to they had to come over here. Come to America and get that most money. of the Americans yeah. that came here from Europe had brains that were too big to exist within Europe. Like for example, like they the Europeans to this day they cannot figure out how to put ice in coffee. They don't. You go, can I have an iced coffee? Like, and they what? their brain is too tiny. Yeah, yeah, they have this yeah, yeah. tiny little Neanderthal brain, and it just can't figure out that if the coffee's hot. And the ice cubes are cold. Yeah. By putting it in the hot thing, the ice will melt. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, y'all figured out how to, you know, what to call a cigarette. The, exactly. You know I mean? They figured it out. <laughs> but they couldn't figure out anything. We else. keep trying to figure out how to use it. They just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, they we, don't get it. They like, figured out a great way to use well, the slurp. Well, that likes to get sucked on. Let's just yeah, plan at yeah, that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't figured it out yet. They did, we haven't. Yeah. Their little brain, they just don't, they don't understand. There's certain things they just don't. Like, that's why they need the metric system. Like, you know how the metric system is very simple, yeah, right? Yeah, it's yeah. like just units of 10. Everything is just like, okay, okay, 100 centimeters in a meter. It's simple. Yeah. Fahrenheit, too crazy for them, right? Inches and feet and yards is like their little, tiny little European heads can't wrap themselves around. So imagine how big their dicks probably look on paper. Whose? Like when you read it, because you're looking at this number, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So how many, three inches? Oh, I only say my dick is centimeters. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) My dick is centimeters only. You know what I'm saying? My dick is centimeters How many centimeters in an inch? Uh, About three. Three. It's like two and something. But again, Shit. yeah. But you're an American. You're smart. You yeah. you can even do that math right there. Yeah. If you ask a European, that, oh, 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 yeah. sacre bleu. Aren't you about Damn. to go on a European tour? So? Oh, that's right. I am coming. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> no, you're right. He's priming him for the roast. He's priming him for the roast, bro. 
Come on, don't make it sold out. Thank you so much. They know what it is. Thank you so much, Scotland. That's right. Amsterdam, we put it up today. First, it sold out. A few seconds, second, it's all sold out. I think I'm going to come to the Amsterdam one. Respect. respect. I've never been to Amsterdam. Respect. I want to go to Amsterdam. I think respect. I'm going to come to the Amsterdam. Dublin, few tickets left. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But Dublin you not, is not the United Kingdom. Did you guys know that? No. no Come on, Ireland's not the United Kingdom. Y'all didn't know that? I did that? not know that. Come on, y'all big-brained Americans. Y'all supposed to know this shit. No, bro. You thought it was, right? I thought it was. Because you think all white people that talk like that are from the same place. Absolutely. <laughs> as, would... ha, hey, hey, as you should, King. Why wouldn't I think that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As you should, King. Are you not going to tell me I'm the first as person should, to make that King. mistake? No, come on, bro. Imagine You're not that. the first person that made that mistake. Shifty, who's been putting out all our fucking videos, has been making that mistake for the last fucking <laughs> Damn. month. Promoting all this goddamn shit. Yo, my penis so, is 24 centimeters long, yo. This guy. Hold on, crazy. hold on now. Hold on now. <laughs> hey, hold on now. Took a minute for that bad. Hold on now. <laughs> hold on now. Let me close my mouth before it ends up in it. <laughs> 24 centimeters reach me from there. Well, what <laughs> then? Imagine that. It, that's confusing. Nine centimeters. If you tell a girl my penis is nine centimeters. No, that's not good. That's not, yeah, it's it, not it's good. a three inch dick. You can you can trick people with that. What do you mean? Come on. If I tell Taylor my penis is nine centimeters, how big you think that is, Taylor? No, you don't. Before Andrew said that. No. No, we think centimeters are small, bro. Yeah. Oh. Centimeters are small. All around. I don't know. You know. We do think centimeters are small. But I mean, if you came from a place where you had really small brains and really small dicks, you would invent a new unit of measurement to make your dick look bigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, is yeah. the thing about Europe. Why are you yeah. measuring your dick? Say again. You said what? I haven't measured it in. What you say? Why? Why are you still measuring it? Because it's mine. Why do you still measure your waist? <laughs> I don't actually. That's what he, well, that's the problem. You should. <laughs> no. Everybody should. Everybody I'm should. Tired I'm tired of the most. Why would you? I'm tired of the most. I'm not even an Asian in this. I'm just looking at the question. But first of all, but first of all, thank you. Everybody questions their waist. But first of all, a dick versus a waist is two different things. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You have, you're married. Why do you give a fuck about how, what your height is? You are walking into a world of pain. Easy, easy. You are walking into a world of pain. As the you are walking the into a world of pain And you don't know it yet You go in head first there And she's gonna cover you And you'll be emotionally scarred Because the older you get you'll be Your penis gets bigger emotionally scarred I'm growing into my daddy's penis Whoa no, that that was, Did your dad have a bigger dick than you? That's well, I thought why. he did growing up, but now That's I'm growing why. into it. Wow. Like when I, I, and I, I saw you say that. Some, what do you could mean? You, could you hush your noise for a second and let men talk? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why, hey, Taylor, why can't you keep We're that? talking about men and penises. You have yeah. nothing to add here, Taylor. First of all, your right. daddy's dick You're is right. always bigger than yours. Because That's you started true? out with a small dick and then yes. your dick grows. Yes, and Taylor. You probably stop seeing your dad's dick yes. before your dick is at full growth. Yes, and when you're a child and you're walking around, you're watching your dad walk around in his underwear. No, my dad. Well, I never say I never seen that. So. Well, yeah, because you're, 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 you're daughters. You're a daughter. I think when you have a daughter. That's true. No, that's real. I have that's a real. brother, Listen. though. So. Okay, well, that's why. Your brother has seen your dad walking 100%. around in his underwear. 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. I've seen my dad's shit. My dad walk around like Winnie the Pooh in his man, house. Man, come on, man. <laughs> it's his my dad, house. yo, my dad could fill it's out. It's his house. My dad could fill out some Fruit of the Looms, bro. Woo! You know what I'm saying? Woo! That, that, that keep Woo! Fucking, and what fruit he got? Shit. What fruit he got? Bananas, bro. Woo! Bananas? But big joints. Plant, planted. <laughs> the plant, the Dominican. Planted. He got the Dominican <laughs> banana? My dad, my dad got Dominican <laughs> dick, bro. Wow. A big old planted. <laughs> wow. Wild. But as a man, Wild. when you a young man, you look and you like, God damn, God pop. Damn, you know bro. what I'm saying? And then when you get older, you realize like your shit don't fill it out like that. I'm starting to fill it out like that. I hit 45 and that shit is like, okay. Bro, I, yeah, I, might, I, I might take it back to the old school, start wearing Fruit of the Looms, tidy whites. Oh, do it, bro. Let the streets know something. Let them know. Or you got to dress, you know, top up. <laughs> okay, explain. Top up, what do you mean? You just dress like <laughs> like Winnie, bro. Oh, Winnie the Pooh? Winnie ain't have no drawers. Let that <laughs> I don't have. I, I, I don't Let ha- your nuts hang. I, I don't have hang time. I don't. Let your nuts nah, hang. Nah, I don't. I don't. I don't. What I mean, you don't have hang time? I don't. I'm a grower, not a shore. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, so you're small. I'm not going to say small. It's so gotten bigger. As I've gotten older, it's gotten bigger flaccid. 
Say again. <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing, dick. Dick, dick just fucking nothing. <laughs> Come on, little scrawny ass. Dick. That's like you, Come that's, on. Listen, that's like Elon Musk and fucking Mark Zuckerberg. They said they gonna have a dick measuring contest. Like, get the fuck out of here. Who y'all uh, fooling, yo? Why? Who? Why? Well, oh, because Elon's African. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got a big dick because he's from Africa. I, 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 Not all y'all got big dicks. I think that that tra- okay. I think billionaire trash talk is literally trash, bro. Oh yeah, they're not good at it because nobody talks trash to them. They don't get any practice. I had a good idea, man. I think that they should have they should hire rappers to be their representatives, right? <laughs> but Rick Ross, huh. Soldier Boy, huh. imagine them. Hey. Speaking from the perspective of Mark Zuckerberg and Elon That's Musk's far. lies. That's far. Rick Ross That's far. gets to rap and talk like he got 250 million. That's fine. Elon throw him a quick hundred million to do it. Soldier Boy gets to talk. <laughs> yeah. Imagine Soldier Boy getting online doing a rant and soldiers worth 250 billion dollars. Yeah, it's over. It's over. It's if over. y'all really what you gonna say to soldiers. That's what I'm saying. If y'all really trying to hype up the fight. You get rappers to be your representatives. Done. Let them speak from y'all Done. perspective Love it. just to hype the fucking fight up. Love Pay them $100 it. million dollars a piece. It bothers nobody. That's a You know what I mean? Idea. And that's, that's what I'm saying. And Soldier having 100 million, he gonna talk like he got 250 billion anyway. Ooh. Suck my dick. Y'all ain't gonna never be multi-billionaires. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want the 100 million. Why don't you shut up and suck my dick? Woo, from the back. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Imagine the luxurious talk Rick Ross would have oh, God. if he was speaking from Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk's perspective. Oh, my Lord. You know, I'm gonna block all you donkeys. Wow. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Wow. It would be incredible. Yeah. Envious, I'm going to delete your Instagram page. Yo. <laughs> you know? Deleting Andy's Instagram would be insane. Would be hilarious. That's my point. Imagine them talking from that perspective. That's how you hype up this so-called uh, fight. By the way... How we got into this from our dad's dicks, though. <laughs> but do you think that your dick is as big as your dad's now? Mm. <laughs> I'd have to put on some Fruit of the Looms. And memory probably is tricking me a little bit because we were, we were young. Then. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We were young back then. You know what I mean? Yeah, things look bigger. I, 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 I try to put the tidy whities on now. My shit, boom, drops out the side. Does it really? You know what I'm saying? I, can't, I, don't, I don't have the pack. The pack in joint, you know what, what I mean? What, I, no, I don't. <laughs> That's what I, my, in, 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 I don't understand. I don't understand. Because yeah. when you put, look, you're not packing it into like a North Face pocket, bro. We, we don't. Yeah. Maybe we don't have them kind of dicks yet. Cause think about it, when you put on them Fruit of the Looms and that shit look like this, certain motherfuckers might have to wind that shit up like a fucking cinnamon roll, bro. They do have to wind it. That's, that's what true. I mean. That is true. That shit that might, is true. we might you not do have to kind of coil it up. You have to coil that's, it up. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, not what it is, it they just have more girth. They just yo, have more girth. Stop speaking on men issues, yo. Um, that is true. We're talking about men's shit. If I fuck niggas, I know what they're talking no, you about. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't, whoa. You don't, you don't, you don't with fuck a them, you get fucked. That's right. And you don't I live. I fuck them. No. You don't live with a what penis. What you put in them? <laughs> Why did Gabby have put You have very yeah. limited experience with penises. That's facts. We live with them. Every day. Every no, you day. Right. We did. I'm just saying, we did with you're, at, but you're saying winter. like the package, like I'm saying they have just more girth. Nope. We did with shrinkage. You think your dad got more girth than you? I think my dad got more girth than me. I've said this before, but I, sometimes I do think I got my. Do you want it to dick. look like this? <laughs> I think I, 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 I might have got my mom's dick from her side of the family. Yeah. My mom yeah. don't have a dick, but the dickness on that side of the family came through me. Why are you That's looking why they at that skirts? bottle? Say like, what? That's why they wore skirts. Who? The Scottish. The Scottish. Yeah. Because the dick looked like pussy. It looked clit. Got a like clit. I thought that it was so big. Because the Scots are known for having the hugest, fattest cocks really? on the land. Hell yeah. That's why only sheep could take it. Google, That's why we had to fuck sheep. Google yeah. average. We had to fuck sheep because the women couldn't take it. Google average size. Women couldn't handle. No Google can't handle. average yeah. size penises in Scotland. Hey, hey, come on now. Hey, don't do that. Listen. Listen. <laughs> Google average size penises from the Cameron clan in Scotland. Let's the see Cameron this clan. Rowdy, rowdy penises coming out of Scotland. Let me see what we got. Let me see how many inches. Let me see how many inches. I'm going to have to read that in centimeters, bro. Give me, give me that. Give me that. What do we got? Scotland. What Come on, Scotland. Got? You didn't type in Scotland? 6.3 to 7. Where do you see that? Where do you see that? Did you Google yeah. Scotland? Yeah, I did Scotland. 6.3 to 7. Listen, man, there's got to be a reason he used to call himself Roddy Roddy Piper. Mm. Was he really from Scotland? Uh, what are you going to say? You put the UK. That's what came up. So Scotland is six 
Penis is what we all aspire to, man. <laughs> but dude, no Albago, bro. Listen, bro. What the fuck are you speaking in tongue? No? I'm speaking Scottish, bro. I mean, forever Scotland. Come on, son. Can I not speak Scottish? Can I not speak Scottish? That's your native time? tongue. Come on, bro. Who wins in a fight between Elon and Mark? Straight up physical fist fight. Bong, hand to hand combat. Let's go. Hand to hand. Can they have one weapon? A Scottish dick? Can can they each of them, <laughs> can each of them hold a Scottish dick and try to beat? Nah, just straight dick? hands. Just straight Elon. hands. Nah, I think Elon wins that. Yeah. It's just size, Elon, bro. Uh, it's yeah. just too. He's too much bigger. He is. I've no, never seen Elon, Elon like six four, two something. Really? Yeah, Zuckerberg like five eight. But Mark Zuckerberg, they probably both of them probably know some type of form of martial arts, right? Well, Zuckerberg's doing the whole jujitsu. Really? Yeah. Yep. You know they're just doing this to hype up their uh, respective apps. Of there's course. no losers. There's no losers in this situation. Of course. Thread, Thread got over 100 million subscribers in, what, three days? It's like when rappers beef when they're dropping an album. Like, they're That's just all doing it the is. same thing. That's mm -hmm. all it is. These yeah. motherfuckers know exactly what they're doing. Zuck is a cuck. Damn. Damn. That's Damn. what I said. Damn, bro. <laughs> wow. Why did he just say that? Why did he say <laughs> Do you even know what a cuck cuck? is, bro? Yes, when you watch um when you watch your woman have sex with somebody. Would you ever do that? You saw Adam Twenty Two did that? I would never do that. Did you see that? Yeah. I did. Yeah. So I was watch I saw that over the holidays. I went down a I went down a nice rabbit hole over the holidays. Like, you know, cause when you're when you're grown on vacation, you get up in the morning, you go do things, you know what I'm saying? You spend your whole day with your family. If you're doing vacation right, you're, you're shitting, you're shitting every 15 minutes. <laughs> Maybe. You're pissing out of your ass every 15 minutes. Maybe. You're definitely getting some bloating going on. Oh you know what God. I mean? You I definitely I, so I feel like I gained 10 pounds in the beautiful island of Anguilla. But at night, like I was like writing, reading, and then I would just go on like the internet. And just YouTube. It is the funnest oh. shit. I see why people do it all the time. What yeah, why they watch YouTube videos? I, no, I mean, it's 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 fun to me for other reasons. <laughs> yeah. Though. Yeah. It's fun like I love a lot of the videos where it's people talking about us. Oh yeah, reaction videos. Yeah. But I love it because it just it's just a reminder to me that motherfuckers really don't know what they be talking about. Oh, they're just making things <laughs> up. Oh my god. What what were they saying? All types of, I mean, just the craziest shit. I mean, just wild shit. It's just like the, the speculation people have about certain things is hilarious to me. Oh, that's the dude. I didn't watch the, I didn't watch the video. I saw everybody talking about it. I didn't actually watch it. That's the dude? Yeah. Yeah. Roddy Roddy Piper? So, that's not his name. Do you, know, do you know this guy thought he had a 25-inch <laughs> dick, bro? No. Can you say why? Can you say why? <laughs> nah. I Googled it. Say, say why. Say why, though. <laughs> he thought that that dude had a 25-inch dick. But say why. He's in the Guinness Book of World Records if you had a dick that big. So, but he thought that existed. The I'm in the Guinness Book of the, World Records. Now, the biggest dick on record is actually in New York. It's uh, it's like, it's, it's a Damn, is that, that why you moved here? <laughs> I just, I just randomly read this. It's nine. It's Where nine, is it? Nine inches attached soft to the seat like at the breakfast club. <laughs> it's, it's nine inches soft and like thirteen and a half hard. Gosh. I mean, I mean, I, I, I swear I saw that in the paper like two weeks ago. What? What? Wait, nah, but, but, you but, said you just randomly searched this. I read, Alex. Okay. But this was what yeah. you were doing on vacation searching. Hold on. Hold on. Wasn't on the internet. I Can I just say this? I was on, you know, Graham Wizard, the Instagram account that I always say, best Instagram account. See? I'm not just see. Look. I, I, we we know you. who claims to have the world's biggest penis. Claim. We know claim, you know all about penis. Claim. <laughs> claim. His penis measures 13 and a half inches when erect and has an eight inch diameter. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's half. That's half. That's two of the Nobody fucking Nobody wants that. Zen water bottles. Now you said, okay, what did you say? Grand Wizard? Grand I, Wizard I, I, I chat, word I can't say, best Instagram account. He posted that the dude had a 25 inch meat. Okay? Okay. I, in retrospect, <laughs> I, it does seem a little ridiculous, <laughs> but I thought that it maybe was around that. That's two fucking feet. Yeah. <laughs> he really thought that shit. Yeah. 
son. That's a second or third grader, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> 25 inches. Come on, man. I, I, I know we go crazy with numbers in this era, but shit. That's crazy. I don't, I guess, so when I did see his meat, because I did Google it, because I wanted to see what a 25 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> tick looked like, yeah. which I think is normal. Normal for what? To see, I mean, if there's a 25 inch dick, no? Oh yeah, yeah, you don't want to see. If somebody said, yo, there's a 20, look, if, if it, you're, you're saying if this right here was a dick. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> right? You should want to go. Yeah, we don't even yell dick talk or dick segment. No it's it's, it's not, not even a segment. It's <laughs> Conversation. It's the show. <laughs> well, listen. What I did not grasp. But, so when I saw the dick, it wasn't yeah. as big as I am. It was obviously a very sizable penis. It was huge, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it wasn't 25. So I was a little bit let down. What I didn't grasp from the whole story because I didn't dig deep in it. Why you know did, she, why, deep why did she have sex with this guy? Like, what was the reason? Money. Well, how much was it? No, they're, they're doing. It's on their uh, OnlyFans. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Do people pay for it? You pay. It hasn't dropped just yet, but it eventually will drop. Why would you buy it now? I mean, the, the hype is gone, kind of, right? Like, but no, you want to see it happen. You want to see her, you know. He should have dropped this with the algorithm, though. You got to drop this when everybody's talking shit about it. Oh, but you got to let it build, because once, here's the thing, once it's out, everybody's just going to go look at the screenshots or look at it on Twitter, because people are going to be able to post it. Do people care that much, though? Bro, the whole internet talking about this shit. But mm. he's nothing, he's very popular in Pornhub. Who? Have you watched his work? Yeah. Really? Oh, you know this guy? Oh, so can, he's a porn star? Can I ask you, can I ask you, can I ask you an honest question? Can I ask you an honest question? <laughs> Do you know. think you could handle the meat that he has? Yeah. <laughs> it's not like... I know watch. I know she was going to say that. Is, is that big? Not, is he no, big? No, it's, it's, it's a nice size, but I'm saying like it's not like cra how y'all talking like the... <sighs> That's crazy. Like, no one wants that Who's type talking? of size. I ain't saying nothing about no, it. No, 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 no. I'm saying how you're talking about the biggest dick or whatever like that. Like, no one wants that. Like, but his is... Y'all want to see it? No. So is his... I saw it. Is his... <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you just said, yeah, you can handle it without a... Like, immediately, yeah. Because I've had... You've, you've had, had dicks before. like that? You've had Where does it go? Like <laughs> you're little. Where does it go? What do you do with it? I <laughs> do do you wrap it around your neck so you can sleep when you're on a plane? <laughs> hey, everyone needs to be in the cockpit. <laughs> what, are like, what do you do with it? What do you mean? What do you do with it? Why are you making it seem like it's like this huge? Where does it go when you? <laughs> where I, I mean, honestly. What are you talking about? Where does it go? The same place where a tampon goes. That tampon is... That's a terrible... Uh, yeah. I, you're yeah. saying where does it go? I'm just saying the same place where a tampon goes. That's it. In your vagina? The little pussy stretches, y'all. But does it go back ever? Yes, relax. I'm being honest. <laughs> I'm just asking. It's a good question to ask. But it's not. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're taking that Trinidadian torpedo. His dick is bigger than his, though. Like, that would be like, nah, I'm not doing that. But his is cool. Don't get, like, Whoa. don't get. So that's what I'm saying. This is crazy. Yo, Charlotte, what are we talking you don't about think it's Alice? crazy you the saw, way she's you talking saw the dick? about this? I'm not listening to Tim. You thought it was really big? I mean, Yes. That's uh, I feel big. like y'all comparing it to yourselves, so that's not that's not fair. Yo, 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 mash up. Yo, mash up. Yo, mash up. Yo, 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 how much what? dick can you fit in you? Why don't we talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we see how many Timberland boots can go in you? Like, what, yeah. What's going on? Why are you talking crazy like this? You're supposed to think. You're supposed to be like, oh, there's yeah. no way it could fit. I'm so little. There is something to that, though. Like, uh, like... Men can brag about having big penises, but women shouldn't really brag about how big of a penis. You gotta be like, there's no way I could take that. But to me, like, it's, it's a nice sized dick. What could you? Like, not it's different to me. Nice size versus like it's average size. Like, it's a nice. And people size. always say that too. They'd be like, oh, women have babies, but the baby's coming out. Yeah. Also, the, the not pussy going contracts. In. Like, it yeah. actually stretches. The pussy. Yeah, exactly. The pussy's not a contraction when you're taking that. Is it? You. Girls know how to like tighten and all that. No, stuff. but it's when I say contraction is happening, I mean literally the uterus is opening, right? I'm gonna ask what you tell her. You was more confident uh, talking about penis. Are pushing. But there's no dilation. What are you talking about? You don't yeah, seem to know much about yeah. the own anatomy. Why would I? Is how? It, you what, am I, what am I saying that's weird? Can I just ask You're a question? You're not saying anything. Can I just ask a question? <laughs> I'm saying it stretches, <laughs> Can though. Can I ask like, a question? Just what? one simple question. Have you ever looked at an object and thought, 
I can't put that in my vagina. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just making. I've sense. had like I've said no to guys that was like, nah, I'm not doing that. Whoa, really? Yeah. It that's what I'm saying. Big. Like that one's like a nice size. Like that's there's average, nice size, and then that's, that's average. That's, that's average. By the way, that's gotta be no, a average. No, I didn't say average. I'll he's fucking average. kill myself. I didn't that's say he's average. average. I said there's average and there's that's nice sizes. That's gotta be a great feeling. Right, if a woman looks at you and be like, "Nah, bro, I can't." No, that's not that. not really. You know what I'm saying? First of all, every not... woman listening, start off with that. Word is born. Yeah. Start that. Yeah. Gas me up. <laughs> Say that shit immediately. Like, Whoa. When Wait, I pull that shit you out, you guys, ooh. like for a And then when we do it, dicks, and then when we do it, go act, like this. Go. Act like, ooh, I didn't know I could do that. You know how when you work out oh, sometimes, yeah, you're like, yeah. I don't know if I can do it. Personal that. record, PR. <laughs> you know what I mean? yep. But you guys. <laughs> No, girls don't really want big dicks like that no more. Like for real, for real. Oh, that's it's like baggy jeans are in now. Like no, but I'm just saying like girls just <laughs> want someone not. that like they don't want to get hurt having you, sex or nothing like that. Did you survey other girls? Did, did notice? How, did I'm, you survey? I'm just saying us girlfriends like we talk like they don't like I have a friend now. She's like I really want just average small dick. Like I don't want she don't want that. So much. but but you you're saying you could handle that regularly or that would put you out of commission? I don't probably. know. I'm not saying regularly. I'm just saying I've had. But you couldn't get back shots from that. No way. Yeah. I think some of y'all women gotta stop being picky and take this dick that you got. They are right. though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we gotta start realizing that a lot of these pornos, these are above average men. That's not That's why they're doing true pornos. Either. Of course, yeah. So, That's why they're doing mean? pornos. Yeah. They're doing porn because they're but above you average. You haven't seen a porno where the guys Are the guys in the NBA taller than normal guys? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying there's there's the all different penis videos size in on America porn. is like six inches, yo. But no, it's Taylor, probably less than Taylor, that. Taylor, this guy is, is ten inches. <laughs> he said he's ten inches. That's, he's ten okay. inches. It don't look like that on. Um, I want video. you to Google this, Alex. Google average penis size in the world. Isn't in it the five? world. Isn't it five inches? But that's my point. So these people that do porns are above average individuals. That's why they do porns. Because anything mm -hmm. over what? Anything over 5.5 .5 is above average. So if you got a 7-inch, 8-inch... Scottish, Scottish dicks are huge, then, <laughs> if you think about it. Scottish dicks are literally over 20%. It's 25% bigger than most dicks. If you got a 7-inch, 8-inch penis, you can do porn. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't want to listen. No, it's 5 is the average. Scottish dicks are 6.5 inches. I'm about to look up. Yes, but... If you, can, if you got a 7, 8-inch penis, you can do porn. <laughs> Period. What? If you I got a seven inch, good, eight inch penis, you can do porn. Yeah, but or if, or she if you just really called those ten down. inch average. I didn't say that's average. You said, said he was no, average. No, I said there's averages and there's good sizes. I didn't Nobody, say that he's average. But here's the thing. <laughs> Nobody respects him, bro. bro. That's another Why thing. Why am I from Europe. She's from Europe. She's from Europe. She got a small little European drink. Why? Doesn't know how to put a fucking seat on the toilet. Doesn't know how to do... Ice and coffee. It doesn't look like it'll be 10 inches. People don't respect numbers anymore. Yo, they so, don't. So they don't. I'm telling you. And it's because of the internet. Because we live in an era where like people think a thousand is not a lot. A thousand's a lot. A, a thousand, thousand is a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you got a thousand subscribers. You should be happy for those thousand subscribers, yo, because that's a lot of people. Whether you realize it or not, a thousand people at a party... Yeah, you won seven inches of dangalang. I'll give you a thousand dollars right now. That's a good size. Seven inches is seven inches is a great size. You mom, it's girth too. No, it's not. It might kill you. No, it's not. That's me. I'm seven inches. What size is it? I'm seven inches three four eight when it's warm up. Seven inches might kill you. What size? Seven. That's honestly. That's a murder stick. What size with the stick? <laughs> Seven inches is a murder stick. I got the murder stick. stick. <laughs> <laughs> I could kill once. I could kill twice. What do you think this is? What? This would be a nice size for a dick. Like, what size is it? Okay, no more dicks. All right, man. Now you upset. We all say this is great. Yo, you're too horny, bro. God Chill damn. Out. You're too fucking horny. Y'all know discussion? if I got tired of talking about dicks as well. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's the way that she talks about them. It's Word exhausting. Word It's exhausting. Exactly. We was having so much fun with our dick talk. <laughs> yes. Came around calling every dick small that's not seven inches. Word of inches. Bomb, man. I'm, I'm tired of this. I remember Trina the rapper did that back in the day in a <laughs> breakfast club interview. I'm like, so what's average to you, Trina? She's like, I don't know, 10 inches, 11 inches. I'm like, no. Oh my God! Who are these animals? No. Y'all fucking! No, 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 no. That's crazy. Ain't just walking around with that's 11 crazy. Inch. That's <laughs> crazy. That's the rhinoceros. Like, 
Come on. That's <laughs> Stop. Nah, stop. come on, bro. Stop picking up guys in Jurassic Park. Yo, you need to stop. What the fuck is wrong with you, yo? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Out here Y'all fucking these dinosaur tail dick motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's and a lot of you girls are getting tricked. That's not even their real dick. They putting on a fake dick Shut on top of it. No, that's a fact. That's no, no, that's a fact. Yeah. Just that's like you fact. girls do. That's you don't fact. think guys do? You girls do that. You got the push up bras for that's your titties. That's a fact. A lot of CGI in porn, bro. But that's all. Not only CGI, CGI. Porn, they put a fake oh, dick on top of the filter. Dick. Oh, I I'm talking that. about in real life. They put a condom on, and you don't know they stuffing a little sock or something on top of the condom to make their dick bigger. You getting tricked by these dudes? They don't really got all that dick. <laughs> you Just do not know this? Say you jealous without saying you jealous. I'm not jealous. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> jealous. I'm trying to tell y'all the truth. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all the truth. These are big dicks you fucking. God damn, yo, we treating dicks the way Loon treated academics, man. Come on. Yo, man. Right, give him a break. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Free my man act. Can we free act, bro? God damn. Oh my God, man. Uh, salute to act, though. Shout out act. <laughs> I'm a do X podcast, man. <laughs> yes, come on. Oh, oh, you are? Why did why it took you so long to do it? Man? He never asked me. Come on, bro. Oh, he did. Charlotte. Yo, can he I say something? Asked. Asked. Just, hold on. Charlotte. He went on live, ranted, said that he asked you many a, times. Well, hold that's on. not true. Act, and, and, act. I just want to say this. I've been doing flagrant for how long? Uh seven, six, seven years. Six or seven years. Yeah. It took me six or seven years. Act. To do what? To get Charlemagne on a motherfucking podcast. <laughs> by the way, you know what I'm saying? Your little, little two way, year shit is light, bro. By the way, <laughs> Schultz definitely asked me way more than that. Act might, <laughs> act might have asked me one time, like when it first launched, and I was like, yeah, cool, let's do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's gotta be some follow up. And I, I told him two weeks ago, reach out to this person, let's make it happen. I ain't heard it back. Boom. I ain't heard it back yet. Boom. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. I'm definitely down to do act podcast. I also just don't like to do podcasts unless I'm like If you're not an old white lady, he's not coming to do your podcast, bro. If Judy Bloom goes, come down to Miami, Charlemagne be on the first come private Come on, I'm there, there, baby. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Trials and tribulations I'm of there. white but teenagers. But that's the best. But anybody <laughs> knows me knows that's my, that was my dream interview to go have a conversation with Judy Bloom. Word. I've been saying that for years. You know what I mean? So that's that was a, a bucket list moment. But Damn, I'm definitely down to do that podcast. I actually look forward to it. Did you see that? I want to drink with Ak. Woo! Oh. You going to have some Henny? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't drink Henny. I'm going to oh. drink some tequila. But I want to drink with Ak. I want I want me and Act to have the same conversations we have in private that we have publicly. That is the one thing I saw on the internet. That is the one narrative I really despise. I hate how people try to make an issue between me and academics. You know what I mean? Like mm. I think that's very, 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 very whack. And I don't want. I can't even believe Act would even feed into that in mm. any way, shape, or form. Because you like Act. He should, of course I do. Yes. But the thing is, I think a lot of times with uh, media personalities, and this has always been my pet peeve, just, just me speaking from my OG perspective, I do not like when you're having an interview with somebody, right? Somebody's a guest on your platform. If that person has an opinion about something or somebody, you cannot hold me accountable for it. For their mm. opinion. No. Uh, that's the same thing. That, that, that's what, that was the situation with me and Angela E, right? Like, what happened with that? Well, with the Gucci man thing, right? Oh, yeah. Gu- Gucci had an opinion about Yi and Envy. You know what I mean? I'm just interviewing Gucci. I didn't bring it up. I didn't ask him about it. You know what I mean? Right. You can't hold me accountable for that even if we do have a relationship. That's not right. Because there's been plenty of times people have gone on platforms, said things about me. I've never looked at the person who hosts that platform and said, yo, that's fucked up. Like, why? Mm. That's that person's opinion. That's fair. <laughs> God damn. God damn. <laughs> yeah. The way you yeah. drink yeah. water is crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> I can breathe underwater, but it's hard to drink. <laughs> <laughs> but my thing with this is, you, you went there, you did the episode with them, you gave him a little yeah. smoke, he decided not to put it out. I don't like stuff like that. Yeah. You know and, and just going back to what I was saying earlier, if somebody comes to your platform and they have an opinion about you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I have an opinion about somebody or something. You as the host should not be held liable for that. Yeah. yeah. And, and and we we all, as media personalities, I keep telling y'all this over and over, if you can't take it, don't dish it. Dish it. <clears throat> it's really that simple. Because the same way we have opinions about everybody, 
people are going to have opinions about you. Mm. Bottom line, point blank period. And everything, trust me, most of those opinions you're not going to want to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can't just always feed into it and give it give it that kind of uh, energy. It just... Um just to give his point of view from what I saw, yeah, I'm probably going to talk about that when you go on his pod, but I saw him complaining that you didn't give any pushback to what Loon was I saying. thought I was. I, I, I thought I was. I, I wasn't giving it, but it wasn't directed at me either. He was talking to Andrew. Why, is, yeah, why was he true. talking to me? What did I have to do? <laughs> I was just an innocent bystander. I think the conversation was rooted in you saying he could do stand-up. That's what that's what I think. That, no, or no, no, or, or, or him, or him being talented, or something like that. Yeah, which I've always, I think, act is highly entertaining. Yeah, I think it was like a value. Like it's just value weird. I don't, like, but, was, but once again, it was odd. These yeah. are conversations that happen when people feed into the internet too much. But that's also another one. Because act, like, no, I've yeah. called act personally. Yeah. And gave and told act, yo, keep doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I've also given him, you know, critique when I thought he needed critique, right? Like, yeah. it's, it's always been that 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 kind of relationship. I told you know that I, mean? I said, lose my fucking number. Why? Because <laughs> I lost my invitation to the white party because I was defending him, bro. What white party? This guy's stupid. What? <laughs> so so stupid. I lost my invitation to the white party, bro. How Michael Rubin got all the hoes? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Wait, y'all? how we got all the hoes? <laughs> I ain't seen a picture of no bitches nowhere. <laughs> Come on, bro. I ain't seen no women at that party, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. Well, Michael got all the bros, then. He got the bros. <laughs> he got the bros. Michael got bro, the bros. I, I'm, not, I'm not even joking when I say this. I, I, I fuck with Michael Rubin. Michael's a good guy when you meet him. You know, charming dude, cool. But, man, he really has a chokehold on on a certain segment of black culture. From the athletes to the artists to everything. Got it, bro. He got it, bro. How did that happen? I don't know, but, you know, it's it's... It's funny. We were talking to we were talking to uh <laughs> You know what, Taylor? Taylor might be right. I'm gonna tell you something. Man, I and, and I'm more than likely. Yo, can I let me ask you a real question? Okay. Here's the real question. I, I mentioned this on Flagrant, but okay. here's the real question. He's a billionaire, right? He's worth eleven billion. Are Jewish billionaires the only white people that actively try to hang out <laughs> with non white people? Jewish, we Jewish. give Jewish people all this shit. Jewish people, they run the industry. Jewish people do this. Jewish people do that. But Michael Rubin is throwing a party, partying with black people, hanging with black people, whatever. These white billionaires you see, the Hiltons, the the these people, these legacy old white billionaires. When you see them partying with black, well, people, see that's the difference. When you see them no, partying that, with my great daughters, point, great point, great point. They don't want nothing to do with them. No, I will say this: we don't know how it was back then. So back then, they might have been hanging I out. I saw the great Gatsby. I didn't see no blacks. Back, <laughs> back then, they might have been hanging out with the, the Sammy Davis Juniors of the world. You know what I mean? They might have been hanging out with the, the Jim Browns or Wilt Chamberlains. I don't know. Whoever, you know what I mean? I'm talking about them now. Yeah, right now. I'm talking yeah, about they right, old. where's Warren Michael, Buffett at? He's old. But by the way, Warren, Jay-Z had Warren throwing up the rock sign. They was on the front of Forbes together. No, what? he was like, please leave me alone. Like, <laughs> don't take my money. Don't take, don't take my money, please. Please, please, <laughs> sir. Help, help. Baby, nah. grab your purse. But, grab hey, your purse. We got to get out of here. And, and Bill Gates came to your show. I think a lot of these... I'm white. Yeah, but you're still... You're, he's tapped into culture. You still got to be tapped into it. I'll put it like that. How many billionaires you see go to comedy shows? Yeah. Mine? Several. You know what I'm saying? Think, Several. think about all these. Several. Think about you know what I'm all, Think about all Several. these comedy specials we've seen. When do you see? When do you see the multi-billionaire? Not just no. multi-billionaires. The richest in the world. The richest in the world. Ah. Hot. <laughs> Hot. You know what I'm saying? Hot. That's what I'm saying. I think what? they tapped in the culture a little what? bit different. I want to. I do want to say. Ba, 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 ba. We do have. We do have to give Meek a lot. Of, we got to give Meek a lot of props. And I hope uh, Michael Rubin, and I'm sure he is, is is like turning Meek on to like you know other ways than look at this money diverse gathering, like bro. Shout out, out to this Jewish brother. I don't think any of this happens without Meek. I think Meek was Michael Rubin's introduction to culture. And okay. you know, and one reason I absolutely do know that, I remember we interviewed Michael Rubin one time on Breakfast Club, and Michael Rubin said he didn't even realize what was going on as far as like with the with the criminal justice system mm. and prison reform. He was like, 
when he saw the injustice that was happening with Meek, his eyes were opened. I Listen, all I'm trying to say, fire vent, very cool, super diverse, you know what I mean? And Not it's just my type rare, of vibe, though. It's rare you see white people, rich white motherfuckers, trying to party with less rich white people. Usually they go out to fucking, these billionaires go out to Aspen, have a little private fucking event, or they go out to think, Jackson Hole, little tiny private event. There's no diversity in that shit. Yeah, but shit. they do these private events and they still hire the rappers to come. I think these people love You know culture. rappers performing for the real, real money motherfuckers Yes, they are. Bar they mitzvah? perform for their kids, bar mitzvah. Exactly, I knew it. Yeah. They perform for their kids <laughs> shit, not their shit. It depends if, if you're Michael Rubin's age. Michael ain't that old. Also, Bar, bar Mitzvah's Jewish. There you go, perfect again. That's what I'm saying. Mm. But, but I'm my, saying, where are, these, where are the Hiltons? I think the Hiltons too old of an example. Okay. All these Who's old, a young all example? All these young tech guys that love That's culture. new money. That's new money. It it's not the same. Oh, I just farted. Jesus Christ, bro. What the <laughs> fuck? All that I talk of 10 inch dicks got you loose. You're loose in this. Son, I, I did what sound a little fuck? loose lipped. Yeah. I was a little loose lipped. God. But I've, been, damn. I've been having so much diarrhea, my fuck? butthole stretch. This motherfucker is going crazy. <laughs> what's going on? Show still out five arenas. He's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm farting in real time. Five. I am. I am. <laughs> I am. I don't care, bro. How old is Michael Rubin, yo? Come on, bro. Michael, but he is a, he's a, he is a nice guy. He's like he's genuinely a nice guy. Fifty, fifty years. See, that's young. He's old as hip hop. He came up in this culture. Like he he gets it. He understands. How old do you it. think he was? I thought he was at least like forty something. Exactly. Like Forty-two. Or something. See, exactly. You hang out with blacks, you start to age better. That's why he's <laughs> keeping them around. He might be keeping them around. Vampire. And, and, and I will say Michael does put his money where his mouth is. Michael shows up for a lot of different causes, man. He really, really, truly. Truly does like he's always helping and he's always listening. Like you know he's in these meetings with the Jay Zs and the Meeks and whoever else, and he's looking to see where he can put you know his money. He's also looks like he's you know giving game to them. Damn Tom, Tom Brady man, God damn yeah. Tom Brady. Say it, say it, say it, say it. Dreamy. That say was it. crazy. <laughs> Hey, that was crazy. <laughs> you, so you nah, saw Tommy, nah, nah, you nah, said, God nah, 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 damn. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Yo, you was just scrolling. You was just scrolling, right? And you want you want to take a picture like Michael Rubin. You want to be like, bro, bro it's no, a horror, yo, man. bro, yo, 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 <laughs> my boy, take a nah, picture. Nah, Rubin be leading pelvic first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rubin hugs with his dick. Oh, <laughs> like, hell yeah. Listen, it's something. Go Brady, back to Tom Brady. Brady so. got an aura, bro. Yeah, he does. Like, nah, for real. I be trying to think. I'm like, Yo, is it because he got seven Super Bowl rings? Whoa, whoa. Is it because he's the greatest Hold quarterback on, of all time? It. Just look at it. Just look at he it. He got an aura, bro. <laughs> Yo. You know what aura's missing, right? What? An L, man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Come on. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. All jokes aside, you know who else had that type of glow? Come on, son. Come on. You know who else had that type of glow? Who got that type of glow? Ali. Don't say a woman. Muhammad Ali in oh, okay. prime, bro. Fair enough. Muhammad Keeping Ali in prime. Michael yeah. Jordan had that kind of glow, bro. There's not too many people who have that kind of glow. I'll be honest, aura. I don't think Michael Jordan had that type of glow where you're just like, you're that's right. a fine ass guy. I ain't say that. You did, that's what bro. I, that was you just what you fine, did, son. son. Did and then you try to act like it's shot. about Super Bowls. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You try to act like it's about Super Bowls. Oh, we got seven Super Bowls. No, 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 no. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Yeah. We, we all know what that goddamn yeah, was. Yeah. No, you, you said yeah when you saw Tom Brady. You gave Tom Brady a yeah. I didn't mean it like that. Nah, yeah. but you did. What I was trying to say about Brady was, did, that's a rare sighting of a fucking go. No, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> that was a handsome that's motherfucking not. man, bro. It's all good to think he's handsome. So by the way, is. you don't see, now that Brady's retired, you see him out doing regular shit. How much? How much? How often do we see Brady out doing even regular talk shit? Right now. <laughs> how often? So, yo, <laughs> Tom, Tom Brady got you stuttering like a schoolgirl. That shit was. That is impressive. Just a picture. Nah, bro. I'm trying Just to come a, back. Imagine you at the party. I'm trying to come imagine back. you at the party. Imagine you was at the party. Bro. What gave would you have done? One of them pelvic Probably hugs. Yeah. Like, what up, B? What up, TB12? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What? That's your line, bro? I see. I'd be like, what up? I, when I saw, I, I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. Because you know why? Because I was no, about, I'm gonna tell you why. Because yeah. I was about on, to say bro. when I met Peyton Manning, I was like, oh, what up, yo? Yeah, you know? Yeah. But it's not the, even close. It's not. It's not close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not close. Peyton and Tom are light years ahead, light years apart. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> in what way are they light years apart? <laughs> what, in what way are they light years apart? Just in what way? And how handsome they are? I didn't say shit about him being handsome. Yo, come on, why are you capping, bro? Yo, just keep it a buck. Uh, you looking at him and you want him to hold you. French Montana said that last picture, <laughs> that guy violated, violated my eyes all night. What does that mean? Go to the last picture. He violated my eyes all night. What is Jack Harlow? Oh, that's crazy. This? That's crazy. That picture with Joel Embiid is crazy. Oh my God. What is that? What? Yo, what the fuck? I didn't see. That shit says Ruben on his underwear, yo. I just noticed that. Yo, Michael Ruben got the hoes. Is that real? Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, is that real? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. God damn, bro. Yeah, Michael got a, Michael Rubin got a chokehold on this shit like I ain't seen somebody have a chokehold on this shit in a long time. Y'all motherfuckers starting to love Michael Rubin the way y'all love Jay-Z. Wow. <laughs> That's Ooh. what it's starting to look like, wow. yo. It's starting to look like that, yo. That is insane. Oh, salute to Michael Rubin. Yeah. Whatever you doing, keep doing it, bro. <laughs> what else we got, Taylor? Yo, I keep seeing, I didn't see this headline until just now. What the fuck is this? A video of Kodak Black when he was a kid oh, yeah. auditioning for Nickelodeon. Play it now. <laughs> People what? act like this was, anyway. You seen this before? Yeah. I've never seen this. This is with Nickelodeon, because, you know, a new show coming out for me. Just, just stay tuned. I'm going to be on the, I know how to act. <laughs> yeah, audition with Nickelodeon, because, you know, a new show coming out for me. Nickelodeon people, missed out. People, like, people go, oh, this is proof that Kodak is just playing a character. And it's like, <laughs> what? I, he was a child. Pretty consistent. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty consistent. Yeah. He was a child. Shout that, out to Kodak. That is Kodak Black. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Go That's down. how Kodak acts now. Yeah. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Go down. Why What's do you that? think he's playing a character? Because he's a yeah. kid who wanted to be on Nickelodeon. Huh? You still talking about other shit? C clearly, <laughs> clearly. Oh, put up a, she she put up a picture up. of Tom Brady, he'll stop talking for fucking five minutes. <laughs> you put up some fine ass pussy, that motherfucker want to steamroll right through the conversation? <laughs> Clear, I'm just saying, clearly Kodak was a person who always wanted to be in the industry. Oh, exactly. He yes. always he's knew he's a star. He, yeah, he's a star. star. He knew he always knew he had a star yeah. quality. He always yes. knew he had star power. He wanted to be on Nickelodeon as a kid. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second because I gotta tell you about the hardest dicks in the business. No, <laughs> not the ones at Usher's concert, but they will be once we have that all boys. What is that? Um, all boys, boys night out at Usher's boys show. Boys night out. At no, Usher's ladies, show. no ladies. No ladies. No ladies. Just us. Usher, we're coming for you. We want to be serenaded, and we're all taking blue chew. <laughs> All of us are taking Blue Chew before we come to the Ursher concert, okay? And we're going to be sang to. Blue Chew, best boners in the business. Same active ingredient that's inside Viagra, say else, but this is the chew. This is the one that you knock it down the first time with. New girl that you need to impress. Old girl that you need to impress. Your girl that you need to impress. Blue Chew has your back, okay? And you're going to get your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. You go to bluechew.com. Use the promo code IDIOTS. Simple as that. And you know what else we got? Charlemagne. We have Elevate, don't we? We love you, Elevate. My guy, Steve Harvey, man. Big Unk. You know what I mean? Um, I just got to tell y'all some things about Elevate, man. Elevate has been keeping us feeling fresh and healthy and energized. Uh, vitality. Daily Greens. Elevate. All right, co-founded by my man Steve Harvey and formulated by Harvard scientists. It's a game-changing formula that boosts your body's micro Chondrial production, providing you with sustained energy throughout the day. No more relying on coffee or unhealthy energy drinks to get you going. It's packed with over 30 superfoods, vitamins, and minerals to feel energized, focused, and ready to tackle your day, okay? I know how hard it is to stay on top of your health and nutrition game. Sometimes it feels like there just aren't enough hours in the day to get everything done, but with Elevate You, you don't have to worry about that anymore. This stuff is packed with all the nutrients and vitamins you need to keep your body running like a well-oiled machine. And the best part, it's super easy to use, okay? Just mix a, mix a scoop into your water or juice and you're good to go. And, if it, and it comes in three delicious flavors, chocolate, tart cherry, and original greens. And Elevate You also has a 60-day money-back guarantee. If you are not 100% satisfied, they'll refund your full purchase price. Take control of your health today and experience more daily energy with Elevate You, Vitality Daily Greens. Go to ElevateYou.com, L-E-V-A-T-E-Y-O-U.com, and use promo code IDIOTS for 15% off your entire purchase. Now let's get back to the show. I think the gatekeeper thing is very interesting. 
And the reason I think the gate the gatekeeper thing is very interesting is because that's another thing I noticed when I was all over the internet. They call me a gatekeeper, <laughs> and they say they say everything I do is gatekeeping. But I'm like, you can't be a gatekeeper when there's no more gates. Mm. You're actually why are you it, gatekeeping? Who 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 are you gatekeeping? Exactly, like you you're, put so many people on. You're at, but that's the, that's their point. They're like, I let the gates. Yo, y'all y'all gonna if say, you want to look at who's gatekeeping, look at the people who nobody that's coming up from them is successful. But that's my point. That's gatekeeping. All gatekeepers, so-called gatekeepers, are idiots. Because you're standing at a gate, right? So imagine imagine this. This is the gate. If you're really trying to secure your place, where should the gate go? In front of you. In front and then where else? Behind you. Behind you, on the side, yeah. all around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're standing at a gate that just has the front gate. Yeah, yeah. So if I want to creep in through the just side, around, I can come in through the yeah. side. Mm, if yeah. I want to come in through the back, I can come in through the back. If I want to fucking skydive in, I can skydive in. There's no gates anymore. Yeah. All you have now is a bunch of people. Okay, Alex. I'll ahead. just give a little pushback. Okay. I think... Um, there is positive and negative gatekeepers. I think just a gatekeeper just means like, hey, you have a lot of power, influence, and you have the ability to put people in positions where they can possibly flourish or fail. I don't think that's gatekeeping. I just think that's throwing an assist. But like, I mean, not yeah. everybody's able to I'm throw an assist. Gatekeeping. gatekeeping would mean that you stop people from succeeding. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think, I, I think there are people who are gatekeeping. Yes. Like, we can all think of people who are incredibly powerful, incredibly successful, and just... Nobody that's like on their team, nobody that's like with them tends to flourish. They're always kind of there, but you never see them come up and succeed and you see very little to no effort in with all their power mm -hmm. in helping them succeed. Maybe even behind the scenes effort in squashing their success, right? Those people are the gatekeepers. Yeah. You are some, I'm proof. You're someone who's like, yo, Go, flourish, kill it. I want to help you. I want to promote you. I want to give you the opportunity. I want to give you eyeballs. Mm -hmm. I want to put you on. And you've done it with so many different people. Yeah. Jesus and Mero. Like, we can list 30, Joe Rogan, another one, who you can list 30 people, 50 people who have all made a million dollars because you put them on. Yeah, that I I, you can never call you that I, ever. Yeah, I don't even look. I don't even look at it as. But there are those people out there. No, I'm with you. I don't, I don't, but I don't even look at it as yeah, putting nobody saying. on. I just like like what you said earlier is true. You can't stop somebody from succeeding. Like there there's certain people that are just forces of nature. If it's if it's God's will, you know, if they keep pushing, they're going to make it. Mm. So you can either assist that person, you know what I mean, or not assist that person. Either way, you're going to have to deal with that individual. But that's the thing. So if you choose not to assist when you have the ability to assist... That's I not gatekeeping, though. But that's what people are labeling as gatekeepers. Yeah, that's Because stupid. if they see you throwing an assist and you're like, wait, why am I not getting that assist being thrown at me? Oh, yeah, oh, you don't, it's you not gatekeeper. your job to put yeah. on everybody. It's your yeah. job to put on the people that you admire. Yeah. Maybe there's just not one gate. There's, mul there's multiple gates, there's but multiple, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not your job to put on everybody. It's your job to put on the people that you admire, you love, and you believe in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I believe, is, yeah. is of someone who's been doing a great job. And that's the exact thing as gatekeeping. It's like, I'm choosing to put on these people and not choosing to put on these people. No. No. It, it is, though. No. It's, 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 like, it's like... I'm it's, not saying it's a bad thing, it's like but it is like... It's, 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 it's more so like a draft, I would think. This is so, who I choose to draft, because this, this is, is who, who I... you choose to... That's not gay. I don't assist. think that's gay. No, but to Charlotte's point, it's like the gate that Charlotte is holding you from is not a real thing. If Charlotte was the head executive at HBO mm -hmm. and yes. he was signing the scripted shows and decided to put on these people, that person is literally a gatekeeper. That's his job. Yeah. There's a gate on who can be have, have a scripted show at HBO and he decides who has it. Yeah. Charlotte is in a position where he can put people on, but there's no gate. It's not like it's like, you cannot be black and famous unless Charlemagne says. Exactly. Yeah, but the HBO exec, is HBO's not the only channel. So that person is just being a gatekeeper no. at HBO. Oh, no, but, Charlamagne but that's what I'm saying. But, but Charlemagne's a gatekeeper at Black Effect. I know, I'm not. I'm the well, actually, hold on. He's a gatekeeper at Black Effect, but just being on Black Effect doesn't mean that you're going to pop. That's right. Some people pop on it. Some yeah, people, that's what don't. I'm saying. That's like right. You give somebody an assist, whether they succeed or fail, is not on you. But just people complain that, why am I not getting the assist? 
I think that's what people are complaining. They're about. They're misusing the term. Yeah, yeah. I know. They're, 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 yeah. they're misusing they really the term. Are, but they, the only place in the industry thing. I see the gatekeeping Alex is talking about, or maybe the gatekeeping we're all talking about that exists, is exactly what you said in TV and film. Yep. TV and film is the still. Because the, there's a limited amount of slots and a limited right. amount of budget to go around. That's yeah. right. That's right. And so you have a bunch of culturally clueless people still in that industry yes. who are not looking at creative in no way, shape, or form. Only thing they're trying to figure out how to do is to keep the goddamn lights on. Yeah. And everything is by the book. And they really, trust me, there's networks right now that are telling you we're only working with these three people. <laughs> so if you want to do something, you need to hook up with one of these three people. Hilarious. Mm, wow. You know what I mean? Hilarious. Whether it's a head writer or a showrunner, show whoever runner. it is, yeah, it's yeah, usually yeah. the showrunner. Yeah. But most networks, especially nowadays, are only fucking with three and four showrunners. And if you want to get something made, you want to get Do something done, you got to connect with one of those showrunners. That's top level gatekeeping, if you ask. And those people are getting paid to gatekeep. That is their job, yes. to be a gatekeeper. I, I just feel like the word is being misused to Charlotte, and there are probably people that are upset that they're not getting the same shine that uh, others are from Charlotte, but that's not his fault. Okay, um, not saying that you do this, but you have the power to do this. Uh, iHeartRadio is probably the biggest radio company in America. You have the power to not get someone hired at iHeart. No, I'm not gonna say that. Come on, Charlotte. I mean, it's like come it's, on, Charlotte. It's a, re you... it's, it's a reference, right? Like if somebody if somebody comes to me and says, "Hey, what do you think of such and such?" Based off my experience with them, work experience, or what I've seen them do, I can make a reference. I'll be like, "Oh, well, I saw them do such and such. I don't know if that would be a good look." You know what I mean? Uh, I don't think that's gatekeeping. The answer, Charlemagne. Yes. Yes. So that's what I'm saying. So you, that you, would be a, an example of a gatekeeper because gatekeeper, but, 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 but references matter, if I, could, bro. if I could push back. Yeah. Does he have that power? Yes. Would whether or not he would use that power is a different thing. Yes, and that's why I started with saying I don't think he does that. Yeah. I'm just saying that is a form because you have the ability to but, do that. But by so the way, that's Alex, why somebody can give him that label because yeah. he has the ability but to stop somebody but, from getting But references into matter in any business, yo. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why you should treat people kind and you should always be the person that when you finish any job, they should be like, oh, he was a pleasure to work with or she was a pleasure to work with because references matter. Yep. You know what I mean? So if you get a bad reference... That might keep you from getting the position. That yeah. don't mean that person is gatekeeper. One hundred percent. Not everybody has the ability to stop someone from entering an entire industry. You can stop somebody no, from being hired that's at iHeart. That's not true. That you because that's just at iHeart. They can go. They can go work for a radio. But what does this have to do? They can with go that? work for no, a radio. No, I'm just I'm saying. The, I'm just trying to give the reason why people would consider. There's other. There's other radio like companies they could work for. But the none are as big as iHeart. Also, also. In order for it to be on Charlotte's radar, getting your first job at iHeart is not going to come on his desk in the morning. Mm -mm. Somebody working at the iHeart in fucking Idaho and wants to do the afternoon drive, mm -hmm. no one's going to be like, Charlotte, is it okay if we hire this guy? Exactly. Like, it, <laughs> exactly. it would have to be exactly. a huge person that was already so famous for it to even come on Charlotte's desk where they'd be like, hey, I know you've been beefing with this person. We're thinking of them giving them a show. How would you feel about that? True. Yeah. yeah. So the only people he could gatekeep are people that are almost already at his level. They're already in the gate. You know what I'm saying? They're already, if you're even being considered to have a show that is close to him, You've already made a career for yourself in an industry. Yeah, that is true. I think but, both of y'all say uh, y'all both yeah. are saying things that are true. I think what we're ultimately saying is, when it comes to gatekeeping, there's so many gates, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean. And by the way, you don't even have to go through the gate nowadays. Like I said, you can go through the back, you can go through the side. If this gate don't open for you, just go to the next place. And by the way, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you're building up you know, your, 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 your catalog and you're working on your craft and you're curating your craft and you're curating your skill set, eventually one, one of these motherfuckers going to be like, hey, man, please come over here. Yeah, That's Please, funny. I need you. I need you over Drew, here. I would say Drew is probably one of the biggest examples of that. It, it, him, <laughs> Andrew, All the knows you was getting that first man, and then you on, just man. made your... We were in you here blew, laughing at him. You went around again? Yeah. 
<laughs> we yeah. would be in here laughing uh, at Andrew when he would tell us the plight of the white man in Hollywood. Yeah, no. There was a pl- for a minute. There was a plight. They're not hiring for the straight white straight man. Straight white, white man. <laughs> white man. <laughs> he would. I remember when Andrew said that to me with the utmost sincerity and emotion, and yeah. I laughed because they was making me gay all the time. <laughs> Bro, they did. Look at you. <laughs> Hold on. Ow. Look Why? At you. I'm out. Why Hold would on. they make me gay? You don't talk about this enough. Andrew, clearly a straight white male. Clearly. Everybody always wants to talk about what they do to black men. Put them in dresses, oh. make them play gay roles. How many gay roles you played, Andrew? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, son, it was gay or crackhead. I was gay or crackhead in all See my roles, saying? bro. They made it's me a not just a black addict. thing, yo. Yeah. See what I'm saying? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Son, <laughs> that, is that is something. Yo, we don't talk about that enough, yo. Bro, I heard, I'm serious, I heard man. a crazy story. <laughs> <laughs> if I played any of the roles you played, you think they think I'm Illuminati now. Bro. The Johnny Carson shit? Bro. You had your fucking pants around your ankles. And who knows what was happening. Hands on your t- knees, asking to air on some thought shit. <laughs> Whoa. What? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, come on, stop now. You know you can't say that stuff without me clapping my feet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's pay some bills. Things people will do for roles, bro. Listen, man. <laughs> you clear that Yo, up. That's crazy. Yo, the things people do for roles, bro. You know what I mean? That's not crazy. You see what they try to... They try to emasculate the white man, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? They try to put the black <laughs> man in dresses, but they, they just make us gay. <laughs> <laughs> they just make us gay. At least it's a joke for y'all. Oh, we man. out here taking dick. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That was an episode Yo, on Girlfriend. Is there, is there ever a role you wouldn't do because you're like, Yo, this is a little bit... I don't know. Can I ask y'all a question? Can I ask you a question? No, no, no. Though? Can you go to... Real quick, real quick. Can I ask you a question? You know in Forrest Gump, bro, would you would you play Bubba? Yeah, I'd be Bubba. You would? Yeah. What Bubba do wrong? <laughs> Ain't that a little... It's a period piece, though. Black people wasn't like that at a time in history. <laughs> Forrest that, that, that's Gump. Not, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. What are we talking about? So, so there was a time in history where a guy ran all around the goddamn world? Yes! And, and, and helped every... Forrest Gump literally was a... It's like science fiction almost. Like, every... There was so many unique characters. about that shit. Bro, Forrest Gump... Come on, you talk about little brain people. Like, I mean, he, he was your That's what I'm he was your bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forrest Gump was inventing shit. You know what I mean? Just by accident. But you would play that role right now? Bubble? I, I, like, Akash, for example. Akash, for example, he doesn't do... He won't go after, like roles where the Indian stereotypes are too crazy and he thinks think, it like paints them poorly. I don't think Bubba Gump was stereotypical though. Other than like the, the you might say the lips. You the can big stick lips. your bottom lip out. Yeah, come on. The, the lip, he's slow, not smart. Who's slower than Forrest Gump? No, I mean like Popcorn slow, shrimp, fried mentally. shrimp, saute shrimp. The movie was Special <laughs> Olympic Productions, bro. <laughs> like what are we talking about? Like they were, like Forrest Gump was, I thought that was the point of the movie. But there are people fighting for that role. Like, I don't know. I thought, a little, I, that's a little bit like, oh, man, I'm, I'm bro, why fighting for that you? one. Like, that's, Yo, why you, wouldn't that's you? That's one that comes on the desk and you go, all right, Tom Hanks is in this shit. Maybe I'll do it. But to be like, nah, I need to be the shrimp. Hey, listen, if you're, if you're, if you're, a, if you're, a, if you're a Hollywood guy and you read this script, I don't see how you would not want to be a part of this. Straight up. If you're a black dude, ain't there a little part of you be like, I don't know if I like the way that black people are being... Now, Persona 5 right here. Because uh, I know there, there are people who like, I, as a black man, I can't wear a dress in a movie because they're trying to emasculate the black man. Yeah. And that's the whole point of it. But you know what I mean? Like, if would, we, you also look at that role and be like, are they trying to make black people look like we're the, dumb and but, we only but know but about... the fact that the lead role is the same type of character. Forrest Gump is the same kind of character. He's slow. He's I legit slow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you, it's like they found yeah. him. Yeah. Like yeah. Different spirits. I really thought that, that. So 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 could as a black man, could you wear a dress? Could you wear a dress as a black man if the white man in the movie's also wearing a dress? I, mm. I'll take I'll take it a step further. I don't even know when that became a thing because growing up in the '90s. All of those guys wore dresses right. and dressed like women. Martin Lawrence, Jamie, F- and they were just Wayne funny. Brown. Like, Shanene was just funny. Yeah. Wanda was just funny. Yeah. Like, all that shit was just funny. The, the men on film when David Allen Gray and Damon Wayans used to play the gay guy, that shit was just funny. Like, I never even looked and thought, oh, they're emasculating 
black men. I never, ever thought that, ever. Yeah. And then he, come along comes Tyler Perry, who really blows all of that whole narrative out the water because he's the owner. He's the owner. He's, he's doing the boss. It. It's his thing, and he's making millions and millions. He's, doing, he's, he's exactly. choosing to play this character. Mm -hmm. Why can't I play a It's character? almost like whoever said that probably like went out for one of those roles, <laughs> put the lipstick on to dress and everything, and then didn't get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and then By was the way, tight about it, right? I can, I can guarantee it is way... If, if it was so easy to make it in Hollywood and all you had to do was put on a dress and some lipstick, it'd you be... You know how many of these That's what I'm saying. Come like, on, come on, man. man. And like, yo, we, 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 we clown a Tyler Perry, but nobody ever said that about Robin Williams, God bless the dead. Mr. Right. Doubtfire was one of the most phenomenal roles mm. Scottish ever. Right. Big dick! Imagine tucking that. He's Imagine tucking that. That's why he had to wear the long dress. Scottish. Long dress. <laughs> Miss Doubtfire was Scottish. Put some respect And Miss Doubtfire was fire. It was. Alba Gubra, bro. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yo. Come on. Let's pay some bills, man. Today's episode of Brilliant Idiots is brought to you by Bird Dogs, okay? Bird Dogs, man. You got on Bird Dog shorts right now. <laughs> Damn right. They're the only shorts that actually fit because the material stretches around you. You know what I mean? It looks like nice khaki shorts, but they function like your best pair of gym shorts. Bang. You know what I mean? That's why you got the thighs out. Bang. You know what I mean? Bird Dogs are comfortable, right? It's the most comfortable, bro. I'm telling you, you need some Bird Dogs <laughs> wrapped around you. You need some bird dogs wrapped around your car. I like comfortable shorts. I like my shorts that fit. Like, that, that is the perfect pair of shorts. A mm. pair of shorts that are actually shorts, but got the same functionality as gym shorts. I want y'all to go to birddogs.com slash idiots and enter promo code idiots for a free tumbler with your order. That's birddogs.com slash idiots and promo code idiots for a free tumbler and get you some bird dog shorts, man. And we always got to salute Squarespace. Thank you, Squarespace, man for always sponsoring the Brilliant Idiot. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue screen for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audiences, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect emails, subscribers, and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every sin. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a market strategy based on your top keywords the most popular products and content head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial and when you're ready to launch use offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain that's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase let's get back to the show Schultz you got some church announcements yes what you got what yes. you got yes tour announcement man um thank you so much bro uh, you pea brains out in Europe fucking sold out the tour, man. It was unbelievable. No, we do still have... Uh, They're going to throw peas at you when you get there, bro. Yeah, don't, don't give them no ideas, bro. Uh, we do know. We do still have a few tickets left for uh, the Dublin show, but uh, Glasgow, Manchester, London, and Amsterdam all sold out, man. Thank you guys so much, man. It really means a lot. I'm, I'm stoked to bring this tour out there. It's been too, too long since we've done the dance. And I'm very much looking forward to it. So uh, that's going to be awesome. Thank you guys so much, man. Um, congrats on that. I just want to tell people, uh, make sure you go out there and pre-order Invisible Generals. That is the next release off my book imprint, Black Privilege Publishing, by my man Doug Melville. It's the amazing true story of America's first black generals, uh, Benjamin O. Davis Sr. and Jr., a father and son who helped integrate the American Wait, is it military. A trans? No, man. <laughs> well, why is it called that? What are you talking about? Who said anything about trans? You said invisible genitals, right? Shut up, this man. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I said invisible generals, man. Oh, generals. Oh, yes, got Benjamin O. Davis Sr. and Jr., a father and son <laughs> who helped integrate the American military and create the famous Tuskegee Airmen, man. So go out there and pre-order that right now. Thank you. And uh, speaking of trans, um, that shit sounds... Oh, first of all, speaking of trans, congrats to Alex. He's engaged. <laughs> Let's go! Congrats, Alex. You're trans married. Oh, trans married. You're trans married. Right. Right. 
You are trans married. Okay. Whenever you get down on your <laughs> knees and propose to a woman and you say, mm. will you marry me? That means that you and her have been trans married for a while. That is true. You know what I mean? Y'all have at least been identifying as being married. Facts. So now y'all are getting married. Yo, married. Uh, you are fucking about to be married, bro. You going? You know when you're going to do the wedding? No, nah, not yet. No fucking clue. <laughs> Don't be <laughs> one of them, Alex. Yes, he's going to be one of them. Don't be Stop. one of them. I, I think you got to do it within a year, bro. Don't put pressure on me. Come on, bro. We'll figure it out. You put pressure on you by proposing. Yeah, I know, but just don't add a time. I think within the year you have to Stop. do it. You got to get married within, within a year. Within a year. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You pussy if you don't. I mean, I'm pussy if you don't, bro. <laughs> you nah, really want to hey, do it. Hey, no, I'm you got to get married within the year. And where are you going to do it? Probably Spain, where she's from. Ooh! In what part of Spain? Barcelona. Okay. Nah, bro. Nah, nah. <laughs> what you mean, Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I, I like know, that. right? Like, I like that. What you mean? I like that. You gotta do it in New York, bro. Why? I like that. You're not even from New York. You're from Far Rock, bro. That is New York, nigga. What? That's New York. Oh. Yeah, you gotta do it in Fart Rock. No. <laughs> Why is it Fart Rock? I thought it was Far Rock. Far Rock. Far Rock. Far Rock. I'm about to say, yeah. what the yeah, fuck? Far Rock. Far Rock is when you pass a kidney stone. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You gotta do it in New York, man. Why? Because you from here. Oh, y'all got to meet in the middle somewhere. Nah, the Bronx. Go to Spain. Spain. But it's Spain. Spain. Go to the Bronx. New York, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Bronx, bro. Right there. That's a good ass. Come on, man. I mean, but also, good. we should go to Spain. Spain will be fun. Yeah, it'll be lit. Also, where's the bachelor party? It would be TBD. <laughs> I mean, dude. The batch, the batch I didn't party? I did have a bachelor party. Say what? I didn't have a bachelor party. It's because you've been married for fucking 37 years. Yeah, so. I didn't feel like I deserved one. You didn't. Your life was a bachelor party. <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you have to practice some other shit. Uh, <laughs> you have the longest bachelor party in history. Nah, but it's never too late. You can have one. Nah, I'm cool. I'm good on that. I definitely don't want that now. Nah, you need a nice old bachelor party. Tell like a grown man bachelor party. No. Like a nice dinner. I did that last week on vacation. Tell us what, what, how the engagement go. What'd you do? Oh, it was cool. Uh, we went to Cabo. And I proposed on a yacht. Ooh. Yeah. Did you ask her pops first? Hmm? Did you ask her pops first? Nah. What? That's what I'm talking about. Good. Yes. <laughs> yes. You still got to do that for real? Yes. yes. No, no, no. Ask. For you what? asked your pop. You asked her pops. I didn't ask. Get the fuck out. I didn't ask. And it was kind of an issue. It, sh it should be. Why? That's respect. I got mad at my dad for not doing that. Shit. Wait, what? Huh? Well, he speaks Spanish. I explained so. that my dad didn't do it either. He didn't ask my mom's dad And it worked either. out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but it's something respectable. That's respecting. You got, you yeah. got, you got to ask pops. So. Listen, can, is, I, it, what, is it too late? Can I do it? Right? You, you could like, ask. You could ask for the blessing. That's right. I'm not asking permission because if you that's, say that's no, what it is. But that's what you say. Do I got your blessing to marry yeah. your daughter? It's just respect. Honestly, no. Oh my god! <laughs> y'all are out of y'all mind. <laughs> y'all are yes, crazy. Yes, man. I mean, you speak Spanish, so I'll be like, ah, you know, language barrier. I couldn't. I just saw somebody. <laughs> who the fuck I know just got mad about that. I just saw a father get mad about that shit, yo. Was it on a TV show? Somebody got mad because they didn't get... They, they, they. But it's 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 not about you. It's like a stupid thing to be upset about. I don't know where that tradition came from, but I get it. It's I, I would I would, I would you want, do that. You Did want you your daughters... It? You yeah. want your daughters... You asked your wife? Are you damn right. Father? I asked my dad. Oh, yeah. My wife's dad. Hell yeah. If your daughter's um, boyfriend or whatever didn't do that, you, you wouldn't like him no more? Absolutely not. <laughs> Disrespectful little fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't ask fucker. me, though. Don't ask me. Well, don't ask me. When, in 20 years, rewind this. Whoever just wants to marry one of my daughters, you better fucking ask me, goddammit. Why? Because it's, it's a this respect, respect thing. Like, yes, man. <laughs> I've been showed you respect. That's Damn. not the I point. I showed you enough respect on the way. Andrew, you missed yeah, the but point. I might, As I, might, a... I might not want to let you in the gate, bro. I might, <laughs> I, might, I, might, I might like you outside the gate, but now you asking to really come in, yo? You want to come in, come in? No. <laughs> it, this is a contentious issue. I don't know. My feeling is just like, if whether you say yes or no, I'm still going to do it. Oh, great. Now I feel bad about it. Don't feel bad. Oh, <laughs> no, nah, you do what you got to do. It's traditional, I think, in the, what do you say, in the black community? And you blamed it on the language barrier? I mean, there is one. She might also, dude, Even he might I be do saying, speak Spanish, he might be <laughs> cursing her out right now. Mm. You bring nigga in family? What's Spanish? What's Spanish? What's Spanish? What's Spanish? What's Spanish? There, there is a word. N E G R A T A. Niggerat? No. What? N E G R A T A. Niggerat? No. Niggerat? R A T A. Rata? 
Negrata. Negrata? Negrata. That's it. Oh, I never heard that one. Negrata. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's it in Spain. Yeah, you should have asked for Pops, man. I will. In like Whatever. Spain and... It's too late. You already, asked, you already did it. Whatever. This is a time difference. Even if, you, <laughs> even if you have a good rapport, it's still like is this Yeah, I met nice him a few times, so yeah, we can do that. Well, I'm happy for you, man. Thank you. Um, don't take it to no Usher concert though. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what is the what is the, what are we thinking with that? First of all, shout out to Usher, the man. I think Usher's a fucking menace. <laughs> but he I, is a menace. He's he a fucking play? menace. Yeah, he this got man girl, literally right? said, "Don't leave your girl around me." True player for real. <laughs> he's fine. told y'all this over and over and over. What do you this, say the next line? Ask. Ask my niggerat. Niggerat. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this guy, Usher, man, first of all, let's give props what props to do. Icon. Yes. Icon. Walking memorial. Living legend. Yes. Whatever top Amen. tier there is of artists, Usher is on it. He is not a one. He's not a two. He is... Just, he's not even ranked anymore. He's yes. Usher. Like, mm -hmm. seriously. I'm not even joking when I say that. It's few people that get to that upper echelon in entertainment, in music, where there's just Usher. Yep. That one name, boom. Like, yep. how is there? There's Oprah. Yep. There's Usher. You know what I mean? Like, he's one of them. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Amen. But he's a fucking menace, you know? <laughs> yep. This man gets out on that stage. <laughs> And he goes on seeks and, and destroy missions. He really does. He really does. He could easily say where all my single ladies at, but he don't and go serenade them. He don't them. want them. He, he no. Want, he want the ones that's taken. Come on, man. Yep. Come they on, got the man. Good, good. Come on, man. <laughs> go listen to the words of Superstar, yo. Ooh. On Superstar, he's saying how he's the superstar and you my groupie tonight and everything else. Oh. That's exactly what the fuck he's doing. He no, goes out there. Really he right? sees who can fall for it. Yo, sweetie. Didn't fall for it. She don't know the words. She kept her she kept her shade. She don't know too. the words. Like, don't look that motherfucking eye. Oh, it's like Medusa. She kept goddamn right. Mm. It's Medusa. She kept her fucking shade yep. on. Turn your clip okay? to Okay, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't fall for that shit. You see her? She got her shades on mm -hmm. and she got her eyes closed. You just don't yeah. know she got her eyes closed. She got her shades on. <laughs> She's not looking at Usher's eyes. That's why she didn't fall for that shit. Usher don't know why it's not working right now, but this, this, this is the reason why. You know who else? Fucking Winnie Harlow. She jumped in her boyfriend's she lap. Knew. She knew. She knew immediately. She knew. Jump in your motherfucking boyfriend's lap. Keep that goddamn menace named Usher Raymond away, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to see Usher in Vegas. Oh, you got to. I'm going you to see him. Yeah, I want to. You just got to be a part of the show. You have to. Everybody wants to say, "Oh, you know, Kiki and Usher, they both entertainers." I'm an entertainer too, goddamn. Me too. You come over there serenading my woman. It's gonna be you gonna be serenading the both of the us, both goddamn it. Both of us. You know what I mean? <laughs> wait, wait, what is what does that mean? What are you gonna do? He, go, you wanna stand up? My oh, wife's gonna grab do? his left hand. I'm, I'm gonna grab right. his wife, <laughs> yep. and he gonna be singing my boo to both of us. There goes my you know baby. I mean? Soon as he put the mic in my <laughs> wife's face, this me. Seven <laughs> o'clock on the dock. I'm in my, my drop top, top cruising, cruising the street. Oh, man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Little the boy, memes? That's... I can't wait. I really you know, hope she does it. I'm the memes right are going to be great. You serenaded the both of us. Both I'm going to do just like this. <laughs> <laughs> they call me U S T R A Y M O N T. Okay, so that's how you gotta handle goddamn Ursha, man. Really? Mm -hmm. That's really you would do that? Oh yeah. Yes. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, and I, I, you know what I don't like too? I don't like how they tell men to show emotions, right? Mm -hmm. They tell men to feel our feels. Every all our therapists and everybody tell us to feel our feels. Soon as Kiki Palmer, baby daddy, shows some emotion, everybody call him a punk. Mm. It's just because it was on social media. And it shouldn't have been on social media. None of it should have been on social she media. Didn't like the, he didn't like the outfit she was wearing. I don't even think it was about the outfit. I think it was about her yeah, being so excited to see us. And yeah. it was also, it was in a public forum. Public forum. And so everybody's they both publicly them. embarrassed each other. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She publicly embarrassed him. He publicly embarrassed her. They, they, he matched her energy. They, they, but no, I feel like none of that should have happened. Kiki is a kid, right? No, no Kiki's a girl. she's 30-something. What? What? What does that have to do with anything? You're saying she's a... Oh, you said she has a kid? Yeah. Oh, I think you said she is a kid. Oh, like no, no, no. Younger. She has a kid. Oh, yeah, I yeah they like got a kid together. As a woman, once you have a child, you should be able to wear whatever you want. Yeah. I don't because, care about the outfit. Yeah. Like, the outfit never bothered me. It was, like, the only thing I saw that could have been an issue... Well, I'm not even going to say it could be an issue. I just understand how the man felt. Yes. It don't matter if you're Usher Raymond or the Usher at the church. Nobody wants to see their fine-ass baby mama... Going lusted crazy. over a guy, uh, another guy. Yeah, going crazy. You know what I mean? And I, by the way, I'm not even going to say this was, she was lusting. 
it just looks lusty. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody wants to. Nobody wants to see that, and that don't make you insecure. Yeah. Why aren't you there, bro? Yeah, I'm at home with the baby. You can't let your wife go to Usher by herself. I'm at home with the baby. Stop. Nah. <laughs> the baby's got to be home alone that night. <laughs> we taking the baby. <laughs> we taking the babies. And, and, and by the way. They probably already know each other and stuff. Like that's that. the problem, what? Taylor. The internet. If I'm that baby daddy at home, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Like, God damn. Usher can probably get with my baby mom. Nice. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Usher will sing you out your panties. Yo, yo, it, yo, Taylor, relax, Is this going to mess things up what? for Usher now? Look at you just dancing at the screen. Look, I love Usher. Usher would definitely serve, like... Is, is it going to gonna mess what up for Usher? Like, are <laughs> boyfriends and husbands not going to want the girl groups to go to this Absolutely. Usher concert? That's no. that's and that's going to make them go even ain't, more. Ain't nothing stopping that shit. That's going to make them want to go. The show's too fire. Usher, that, Usher's that fire, Yeah, bro. it's a really good show. Period. I'm going... You seen it, Taylor? Uh, I just been to his shows before, but oh. I haven't been to this one. Yeah, and it's, it's so funny. I've seen, Taylor, I've seen Usher perform twice this year and didn't even realize it. I saw him at the Roots picnic, and then I saw oh, him yeah, at uh, I, I saw him at the Living Black thing for iHeart. Even, even though he only did a couple of songs, yeah. but I'm going to the residency, and I was going to the residency before this. I'm just telling y'all how to prepare yourselves for all of y'all going to Usher residency. Y'all got to get in on the show too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. when he come to Sarah, I want your that girl. table too. I want the little bottle service table. You want the little? Me too. Yeah. That's what that. I'm getting. No, let's go. <laughs> I'm getting that one right Yo, there. Yo, should we just tell our wives to stay home and just me and you go? <laughs> now that's, yeah, that's, now, now, that's Usher, that's now you're about to be in trouble. Oh, yes, that's you are. Men should start going there. We want to be serenaded too. We've been fans for a long fucking time. We need to get sung to. Come over here and sing nice Let's and go. slow. Yo, that would be the ultimate punk. If one, take if one of Usher's shows, quiet. no women are there. <laughs> Ooh, you ain't got to rush. How do we make this happen? We got to do it. <laughs> We got to do it. A men's only a Usher men's show. A men's only Usher show. Men's only And he Usher. doesn't know it. Woo! He doesn't know it. Woo! If by, <laughs> if by halfway into that fucking show, ain't nobody getting serenaded. Oh. Woo! We, we start, start raising hell. hell. We start in capital. We start raising hell. <laughs> I want the same show, He's going to just bring his dancers out, though, then. Oh. Nah, yo. I want the same show. Same show. It's only men here. Bring that ass in the crowd. Sing to us. What DC used to say, bring that ass That's here, here boy. boy. Sing to us. <laughs> Sing to us. I want it, and I want lovers and friends. We take a request. <laughs> we take a request. <laughs> Tell me again. But then you saw people were like getting on him though. Getting on who? Because you know he he uh, videotapes Kiki. One there's a, one post of her like kind of half naked but pregnant, whatever. But and then this when she's shaking her ass here too. Like so they were trying to make it seem like so. How you mad at Usher versus? What I don't, I don't, I don't get it. What do you mean? Who's who taped Kiki? Her, um, her boyfriend. They're getting at uh, Kiki's boyfriend yeah. because he has posted her body. Right. But that's her boyfriend. Yeah. I told y'all already. But that's what I'm it's saying. Not they're about, trying to... it, just, listen, man. We're human <laughs> beings. Stop saying people are insecure because they have feelings. But Nobody but wants to see their beautiful it's not baby mother though? dancing all over another man. It, would, would it be insecure if your man... If your no, man, but it is insecure. No, I feel like you're saying insecure doesn't insecure. have to be a negative thing, though. Like, it just happens. I don't, even think, I don't even know if it's insecurity just as much as it is like, yo, why are you doing this? Why are you disrespecting me in this way? You wouldn't want to see no woman grinding all over your man. No, of course not. That's my but, point. But I'm just saying, though, I want to call it that not being... Insecure, like it is what it is. And if it was, yo, even if it is insecure, so the fuck what? Exactly, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Why Everyone's fuck, insecure. Why wouldn't I be insecure? I'd be yeah. insecure. Yep. I'd be very insecure if a guy as dangerous as Usher was singing to my girl. <laughs> <laughs> it don't even have to be Usher. <laughs> the fact that Usher makes it worse. It makes it bad. It makes the insecurity skyrocket. But that could be the Usher at the church. What the Cause, fuck? Because here's the thing. On this man here's the book? thing. <laughs> your girl's your girl's vagina is wet, and I know that for a fact because my vagina is wet. <laughs> <laughs> So, so that's why we're so insecure. The guy is, is an assassin. He's a menace, man. Why you gotta be a menace? Usher Raymond is He's a, a menace. He's a menace. Did you see the video of Usher on stage with Nicki Minaj and he put his head on her ass and he was just doing this oh, shit? Oh, no. Oh, my God. This guy needs to be stopped. <laughs> this guy needs to be stopped. <laughs> I Google Usher Nicki Minaj, man. Hold on. Salute to Jamie Foxx, too, man. The internet's trying to tell me that's not Jamie Foxx. Jamie's back. 
I think. Or are they trying to say he's that's not him. He's a clone they telling me it's his clone and it's oh. his stunt <laughs> double and all that stupid internet shit people say. <laughs> I respect Jamie Foxx because Jamie Foxx didn't let nobody in his business. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not art. We don't need to know what Jamie Foxx. But was, was that Jamie? From. We just want to know if he's okay. I that's think that's it. really what it comes down well, to. Well, we know now. We see him out and about. But that him. was Jamie. I mean, I've seen more videos since then. I saw him on a boat. I saw him playing top golf. I saw mm. him jump out of a car to help somebody with their bag because somebody had dropped it. Uh, yeah. uh, he, he gave somebody, I guess somebody had dropped their bag and he picked it up and they caught up with the person and he was calling her name and gave her the bag. So oh, I, yeah. you know, I think what Jamie's doing right now is super dope. I'll tell you why. Because we live in this art world where everybody want to make announcements and press releases and all this other fucking stupid shit. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm, just, I'm showing y'all I'm okay. Zoom in. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if that's Jamie, yo. That's not Jamie. That's not supposed to be Jamie. <laughs> that's not supposed to be Jamie. That's, that's, not, that's a that's joke. That's not him. Oh, oh, oh. They said yeah. a new Jamie Foxx clone. Oh, I was going to actually want to talk about um, Drake. Have y'all seen Drake's new show yet, the concert? No, I haven't seen it. Fantastic. Yeah, it's interesting, right? The um, promo that's coming out of it is just fantastic. It is. The buzz, like, mm. it's just... And, and, and I'm going to say, I got to preface it with this, because people anytime I have an opinion about Drake, people think I'm hating. Drake is one of the best to ever do it. We know this. Yep. He's one of the, the, not even just best rappers, he's one of the best great, he's one of the greatest musical artists of all time. Yep. Full stop, right? Because even when I gave him props in what I said about Cardi, people said I was shading Drake. How the fuck am I shading Drake? Like, it's right. Whatever. I, I said Drake, Cardi did for female hip-hop what Jay-Z and Drake have done. Gotcha. You know, whatever. Um, but I said, Jay makes the artist bigger. I feel like Drake made songs bigger. You know what I mean? That's about my opinion. But then people started saying things like, well, well, what about the Migos and Lil Baby? I already knew Migos and Lil Baby before Drake. Mm. You know what I mean? So that's that may, may, maybe he did probably introduce them to a wider audience, maybe. But I think a lot of those, a lot of those songs go regardless. Right. You know? There's certain songs that without Drake's help, they weren't going. Right. I don't think McCone and Tuesday was going without Drake. You right. know what I mean? I don't know how big Block Boy JB would have gotten, that song would have gotten without Drake. I don't know. Right. You know, that's just my personal opinion. But what I was going to say about Drake, Drake is dropping a, a new album. I think it's called For My Dogs or For All The Dogs or something like yep. that. And he's saying he's going back to the old him. I want to tell everybody out there who says things like that, it's impossible. You cannot go back to the old you. Mm. The old you is gone. You've right. done that already. The old you is what puts you in the position to be this new you. Mm. And Drake also said something very interesting. Drake said um, he's not like these other artists who spend three to five years putting out, who wait three to five years to put out music. Right. What I think is super impressive is the fact Drake has had such a long run. Mm in hip hop. Yep. He's had such a long run in music that he doesn't take no breaks and people for whatever reason do not have Drake fatigue. Right. You know what I mean? Like they still anticipate Drake music, they still anticipate Drake projects and even though people may have mixed reactions to like, you know, the the the, the club album he put out, what was it, the Honestly Nevermind yeah. or, you know, um, even with the 21 album, people might have mixed reviews about that. I like the fact that he constantly pushes himself Musically, yep. you know, there's moments where I'll be like, damn, why don't he take a break? But then there's also moments where I'm like, well, why should he? Yeah. Like, we've never seen somebody this put out this much content, mm -hmm. right, and when it comes, comes to music long. and dominate this long. Yep. Only the new Drake can do that. It's like LeBron in his 21st year. Mm. I don't want to see LeBron. LeBron couldn't go back to being the guy he was his fifth year, sixth year in the league. Right. His body just won't allow him to. Right. But the fact he's been in the league 21 years, almost 40 years old, and still finds ways to dominate, that's interesting yeah. to me. Unbelievable. So I, would, I want to tell Drake, there's no need to go. You don't, we don't need the old Drake. Yeah. Because the old Drake isn't going to be real. Mm. The old Drake isn't going to be authentic. Mm -hmm. The old Drake is going to be who you think people want you to be. Interesting. Don't do that. Interesting. Like I like I like like where you are now, I want to see you continue to go from where you are now and continue to go for as, as long as you can. Yeah. I don't want to see you go backwards. Yeah. So and I, and I, that's not just for Drake, that's for anybody who people say things like we want the old such and such, we want the old you you can you can never be that version of yourself ever again without being fake. Mm. Interesting. I, when, people, when people say that about me, I could never be the old me without being fake. Mm. You know what I mean? Like nobody, you can't, you cannot go back to being who you 
were. Mm. It's over. Yeah, I get why you say that because you're only giving the option to uh, let down fans because my interpretation of the old Drake is he's putting out the music that sounded more like So Far Gone, but you were talking about he's going to be like that person that he used to be. Mm -hmm. So it's like maybe I'm expecting music, you're expecting his like persona, and one of us are going to be let down. I'm just speaking strictly by music, but guess what? Here's another reason you can never go back to that time. Cause you, the fan, you'll never please the fans with that. Cause the fans can't go back to that time. Mm. What were you doing when So Far Gone was out, Alex? How old were you? College. College. Yeah. Think about the think about the beauty of college. Mm. I never went, but I can only imagine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can only imagine the beauty of college, the things you were doing, the new experiences you were having. Yeah. You were coming of age, mm. and he was coming of age with you with this music. That music was the soundtrack to your life then. You can't even go back to your college mindset. That's true. And if you are still in your college mindset, something wrong. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So Drake, you're not, I promise you, he's going to put the music out and people are going to like it. But then everybody's going to be like, oh, man, what is this shit, man? Well, why he's still rapping about this shit? Why he don't grow up? Why he don't do this? Don't set yourself up. Mm. People are going to have an opinion about you regardless. Interesting. Whether you're the old Drake, the new Drake, people are going to have an opinion. I would rather just, I'd rather you continue to be grown rich, super successful, longest running success that we've ever seen in the genre. Yeah. Take me from there to where I want to be. Wherever you are now, take me there. I just interpret it as I'm, I'm back to rapping. Like, that's how I... I, 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 I when did he stop rapping? Old Drake wasn't all rapping. That's right. Old Drake was singing. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. When I first got introduced to Drake, when Sasha Del Valle and all them was telling me I need to be listening to So Far Gone, yeah. you know what I mean? He was doing the same thing he's doing now. It was, this was 2010, 2009, 2010. You uh, mentioned that he said something about, like, um, he don't understand rappers that leave three or four years, blah, blah, blah. They're saying that was a diss to Kendrick, right? And you used to like that Kendrick don't be coming out constantly how Drake does. So what's the... I, I don't have a problem when Kendrick does it either. Everybody's method is different. Yeah. Okay. Kendrick takes three to five years to create bodies of work that stand the test of time. Right. Drake don't take that long. You know what I mean? Jay-Z used to drop every year Some at people can just create faster. That's Some right. Some people create slower. It is what it is, and you I, have to respect your process. Yeah, right? no, but I don't, I don't either, I'm not against either process. Okay. Mm. As long as the outcome is good. Mm -hmm. If you can create greatness every year, then fucking do it. Some people take three to five years to create greatness. Yeah. Are you going to the show, or have you been to the show? No. I only went to one Drake show. I want to go. Once in my life, because he invited me. But I'm, I don't have interest. Really? Yeah. No interest. No, nah, his shows are great. Yeah. When I went I to his show, yeah, when, when I went to, I went, when I went to the uh I went to the I forgot what the tour was called, it was him and future. And I've never seen a more diverse audience ever in my life. Mm -hmm. Ever. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about black, white, Indian, Asian, Jewish. I've never seen Hits a more diverse men, women, I've never seen young, old, I've never seen yeah. a more diverse crowd in my life. And when you go see his show, you realize why having a catalog like that can get you that kind of crowd. 100%. You know, because there's people losing it to shit like, just hold on, I'm going home, but then there's people losing it to know yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same with Kendrick. What you mean? They got, he has a diverse crowd. He does, but Kendrick don't have the diversity of music that Drake has. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's do some Asking Idiots. Let's do some Asking Idiots. Oh, my God. See, this go first question in Asking Idiots, Jeffrey knows. <laughs> if you can go back and relive an age from your preteens or tweens for 24 hours, if you can go back and relive an age from your preteens or teens for 24 hours, what age? None of them. I have no desire to go back. Zero, Ooh, zilch, fun time nada. I am having so I am having more fun now than I ever had in my life. I don't give a fuck what y'all. Facts. I saw you in a goddamn helicopter sailing oh. the Amalfi Coast. That was fire. All right. Teen fire. Schultz would have loved that. That was fire. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, give a yeah. fuck. I Yo, am getting older is dope. Yeah, it is pure the rich. The best. <laughs> 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 no, nah, it really is, dude. Getting it older is, can be man. so cool, man. Mm. Like I, I have and there's tons of ways to like party. That's one of the things that I loved about getting older is that old people who got money found out how to party. And there's age-appropriate parties for us, and they're way better. I just want to let you know. And it's great because being the old person at the young club is whack. It does not feel good. Corny. It's corny. Corn ball. But there is so Corner much niggerati, or whatever the fuck they say. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, the fuck, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> whatever the fuck. Anyway. 
Uh, yeah, I agree. Bro, I was on vacation last week. We was in Anguilla, and it's always interesting. Cause I take my whole family, like everybody. Are you gonna lo- buy a villa down there or something? At, at some point, definitely. I have to. I have to, to, right? There's no place on earth that I have more peace of mind than Anguilla. Like it's unbelievable. Like it's, I, I don't even. When I'm there, I don't even believe I am who I am. Really? I have no. Like I, when I say it's so, I have no anxiety, no nothing. Like it's unbelievable. But. You know, my in-laws come, my mom comes, like all our friends, everybody comes, right? Like all my uh, wife's college friends, everybody, right? And so it's interesting when the kids go to sleep because then the adults go find things to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when we go out to like our little lounges and clubs and stuff like that. And it's just like, this is what the adults did when we was young. Yes. Mm-hmm. This is what they, wait, they yes. waited for us to go to sleep and they with the grandparents and the babysitters for us to go do this. It's Let me tell you something. Throughout history, the people with money tend to be older because it takes time to get money. Mm-hmm. And the people with money throw the best parties because they have the money to throw the parties. Mm. So the parties get more fun yeah. the older you get. Yeah. And they're better the older you get. Yeah. I also think that when you're young, the shit is fun because ignorance is bliss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when you don't know nothing, when you don't know shit, when you've never really experienced anything, yeah. everything is so exciting and you're so just happy to be there. Go to Senior Frogs for spring break. And I don't like, even know what the fuck that is. This is the craziest thing ever. Just mm-hmm. like a yeah. shitty fucking bar in like uh, Tijuana. Oh. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. There's levels. There's yeah. levels. There's <laughs> no age I would want to go back and relive for 24 hours. I actually, I would. you can reverse that question. You know, I wouldn't mind taking a peek at the future. Ooh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Let me see what 77 look like, you know? <laughs> All right, would you rather be rich and have a little dick? This is from OD3 underscore 16. Would you rather be rich and have a little dick or poor with a huge dick? Choose one. <sighs> Can we meet in the middle? No, that's no. why it's a hypothetical. Can I be like, no. Nope. Middle class with a middle class cop? <laughs> nope, nope. Are nope. you married on... Rich with a little dick wouldn't be fun, bro. Rich with a little dick. Nah, rich with a little. Wouldn't dick. be fun. Cause see, I can be poor with a huge dick. Cause I can. I'm gonna find me a way to get some money. No, you're poor. Nah, you're just poor. No, nah, they, they didn't say I can't come up. Stop trying to work I know, yourself like, out of this, bro. <laughs> hey, just, just, Why hey, do they do Charlotte, that? Charlotte, like Charlotte, questions like Charlotte, they didn't say I can't Charlotte, come up. Just, just say the answer we all already know. He didn't rich say with a little dick. <laughs> just say the answer we no, all I don't, already I, know. No, I wouldn't want to be rich with a little dick. Nobody's no. choosing poor with a big dick. Nobody. I can get into porn. You and still be poor. You gotta be poor. Rich with a little this dick is tough, fair. bro. Y'all are already rich, so y'all already are number one. No, we won't, we don't have little dicks. <laughs> we don't have little dicks. Y'all only so can see what y'all Taylor do. Taylor is the best. We have little dicks on a Taylor scale. <laughs> no. Taylor's dick scale. Yeah, everybody has a little Yo, dick. Yeah, that's the rich no, little I'm dick nigga. Y'all are talking about dicks. Like y'all make it seem like y'all just little. They do be big. You would real hard to be like, yeah, my dick's twenty four inches now, like. <laughs> All right. God damn, yo. I don't like when she takes shots, right? Because <laughs> like, if we start shooting, then you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, then it's fucked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Start shooting. It is fucked up. Maybe all dicks look little with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Next to you. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Whoa! What? You finished the sentence, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy for that, bro. Yo, you're crazy for this. This girl's crazy. This girl's crazy. It wasn't a di- I'm just saying though, y'all are You're breaking the treaty. You're breaking the treaty. Wow. They I mean honestly, I didn't have nothing to pick from. You're breaking, you're breaking the treaty, yo. What's the treaty? You signed the treaty. What's the you treaty? Did. Charlie, you did. Know you, you can't take shots. But I'm not taking shots. You signed the peace treaty, but you still shot. You still sending troops. You still sending troops. That's crazy. You still sending troops in, yo. I fucked up. That's fucked up. You still sending troops in. You love war. You know what I'm saying? Scroll down. I'm, I'm gonna stop. I really I'm, didn't have much I'm gonna stop for I make a huge mistake. <laughs> now, Annabelle says, Annabelle says, would you? This is a crazy question, and it's disrespectful. Would you be a transgender for a full week? You know why this is disrespectful, Annabelle? Because you don't know what I identify as now. Oh, <laughs> oh well. You have no fucking idea. Oh well. That is so fucked up. You don't ask people what their gender identity is, Annabelle. Would you be a transgender for a full week? How do you know what I identify as? Well, well, if, <laughs> if you are that, then then yeah, you would. <laughs> and if you're not, then you can answer the question. I don't even know what that means to be a transgender. Yes, you do. <laughs> no, I don't. 
What I mean, Sir, be, what are you now? So what would I be? I would identify as a woman for a week? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Been there, done that. Got <laughs> <laughs> that Usher show, when that Usher show come on, you're going to see it. You're going to see it immediately when that Usher show come. Look at that. <laughs> okay. All right, next. Oh, this is a great one. Brian Cooper underscore says, Schultz, what's the key to wiping when you have the runs? <laughs> Honestly, I, I told the boys this. It was so painful. I had to have a cold compress. I took a towel from the bathroom of the hotel <laughs> and I put cold water on it and then I would just dap my ass with it just to keep my ass cold. That's a real... I just want to dab, dab, dab my ass with the back, with <laughs> with the back, the back of ranch. ranch. <laughs> That is crazy. It was yeah, that bad? It was, bro. It was most so you pain wiped I ever it felt. raw. You wiped it. You was raw. Nah, it was the bile coming out of my ass because it wasn't being absorbed by my uh, small intestines because they were so inflamed. Damn. So I was just shitting acid. Is it allergic? Booty hole pain. It's not allergic, right? Mm. It was just acid coming out of me. It was very difficult to handle. Keep scrolling, Taylor. Let's answer a couple more and get the fuck out of here. I had diarrhea on the plane. It was so bad that the uh, <gasps> no. stewardess made Whoa. a pot of coffee and poured it down the toilet to get rid of the smell. Shut up! <laughs> if you're going to do it, if you're going to do it, do it, Taylor, yo. <laughs> if you're going to do it, do it, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think people that do that on the plane should be arrested, yo. I really do. <laughs> you think I wanted to do that? I'm not gonna lie. I, <laughs> I, I missed the joke. I was like, wait, wait. I'm trying to calculate. <laughs> you trying to move on. Bottom, this is brilliant, man. <laughs> <laughs> <Listen, laughs> yeah, look at her face. <laughs> I ain't say nothing. Look at her face. She's like, that's what I'm doing. Listen, if you fought on the plane, if you fought on the plane, you should be arrested, yo. If you fought on shit on the plane, you should be arrested. I think that should be a federal... I didn't want to, bro. Fart on the plane? Did the toilet actually flush? Bro, yes. it was a mountain coming out of it, bro. It went down, filled the space down in the hole, and started to come out through the hole. There was so much to oh mount it up. Oh, my God. up. It was a clear black night. <laughs> Wait, okay, no problem. Andrew, you ate in, this is, you had diarrhea all the time you go out the I country? I had like five oh, days worth man. of diarrhea. What do you eat? It has to be something French you're eating every Turkish time food. you're... I don't know. So I think maybe I got a bug. Maybe it's me, because it happened to me when I was in Columbia. It happened to me when I was in St. Bart's every time I leave so she had country. to melt this shit? She had to melt it, bro. <laughs> That is it's insane. A, I mean, I tried to flush it, but also she melted away the smell and everything like that. Put a whole fresh pot of coffee back. She Did goes, you tell her? Did you like, yo, I, I, I came out because they was knocking because the, the uh, pilots needed to use the bathroom. Oh, And they no. can't go unless there was one bathroom next to where the pilots are. But the pilots can't even come out of the cockpit <laughs> until Andrew. I'm done. Ah! Yo, show just bow's going to cause the fucking plane Terror crash. Attack. Terror attack. What yeah. the fuck, yo? Yeah, she put a whole pot. In the co in the toilet, a whole pot, fresh pot. That's actually I don't know whether to be disgusted or impressed. <laughs> uh, scroll one more. Just answer this one, Taylor. What? I don't know what the fuck. What? Which do you think will do better in the box office, Barbie or Oppenheimer? I don't even know. Barbie. Yo, you know the great movie I saw watching on a speaking of plane rides, A Man from Otto. First of all, we all already oh, know yeah. Tom. Oh, Hanks. shout out to Tom Hanks. Tom is our, we know he's the GOAT. We know this already, right? Yeah. That movie is so fucking good. good, Joe. It's really good. Oh, my God. It's thoughtful. Oh, Make you want to cry a little bit? Thought, make me. You cry? That was on the plan to put my covers on. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It was a daytime flight, too. I'm like, man, what the yeah. fuck is happening right now, yo? That shit was so fucking good. And Tom Hanks is such a good actor. Damn, this is the movie been out, right? Yeah. When he dies, yeah. oh god, the Come way on, he, man. the way he, the way they find him, I'm like, yo, he had to Google when people die of of heart attacks and how they could possibly fall. The way he was laid out, he wasn't just like laid out, like he was like, you you gotta watch it. It's, I mean, like, he's the greatest actor of all time, yo. He might be, bro. It might. Who's better than Tom Hanks? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. No. Bubba from Forrest no? Gump? No. <laughs> Leo can't fuck with Tom um, Hanks. Nah, Leo is not fucking Hanks. Yeah. Nah, Leo can't fuck with Tom Hanks. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Maybe me probably got more hoes than Tom, but nah. Nah, when it comes to acting. Definitely got more hoes. Nah. Interesting. Um, all right, last question. This is a great question to end with. Always Zant says, what singer would you be okay with singing to your woman? Easy. <laughs> Easy. Push a T. What? <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't think. <laughs> no, no. What? Uh, Eric, Erica Badu is a uh, Jill Scott. He no, they're talking about male wife. He didn't put a gender on it. No, you can't oh change the question. God. You can't fucking switch his question. He said, what singer would right, you be okay with? let's do what male. Let's do what male. Okay, so male. Erica Badu saying happy birthday to my wife. You're I had right. no problem with it. You was there. I know, but I know they're talking, you know what they're talking about. Ricky, um, Puerto Rican? Ricky. Uh, Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X. Okay, it's got to be a gay. He's singer. By the way, I don't mind any singer singing to my woman. Not me. Because it's not about the singer singing to your woman. That's what an R&B singer is supposed to do. Right. It's how my woman reacts. That's what's going to cause react. the issue. They're going to react. Maybe not. You might react like Sweetie and just be like baby every now and then when he put the mic in your face. Or you might be like Winnie Harlow and jump in your man's lap. You know what I mean? But she was so horny, she tried to have sex with her man. <laughs> Immediately, like that's that's what Usher does. That's the effect that he has on you. She got so horny just from him approaching. She was like, "Where's the dick? I need to get on it." Like, I'm telling you, this guy's built different. Well, Usher's built right different, dick. bro. She chose the right one. She, she did choose the right one. Yep. What about how oh. Beyonce was just looking at him, smiling? He wouldn't care about that. I mean, we would hope that they our women wouldn't. Back then, yeah, it's like. But goddamn, wow. Usher is a different, a different beast. Salute to the Usher, Usher. Uh, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, right you're too. right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Bye, bye, bye.